everyone, and welcome to Random Number Generation. I totally almost didn't just say Mercy Kill, but welcome to Random Number Generation. This is episode 71, DK64 Rando with Kuiper and Two Dose. I'm Skybills, your host, and we have a few announcements from GDQ first before we get underway. Game and volunteer submissions for Frost Fatale 2023 are open from now until November 26th. You can find information at gamesdonequick.com slash Fatal or the GDQ Twitter to submit your games and volunteer applications. If you want to follow what Games Done Quick is up to, use exclamation point links in Twitch chat, chat for all things GDQ. Also, this weekend we have King of the Silent Hill, which will be a series of races featuring the Silent Hill series starting at 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. We will also have the Captain Toad anniversary special starting at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. So many wonderful things going on here at Games Done Quick, and I am joined here by Kuiper and Tudos. How y'all doing this evening? I'm doing great. <laughs> uh, Kuiper... <laughs> That banana ripeness was not up to snuff. We'll talk about banana ripeness in a little while once we get everything underway. But, uh, Kuiper, why don't you show the state of that banana really quickly? Oh, so I'm just enjoying some potassium because, you know, we want to be healthy. But so this banana might be a little old. <laughs> um, no, I thought of, I thought of I thought of this gag way too early in the week um, and didn't think to, you know, update the bananas. But. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is, we're playing DK64 Randomizer again. Um, I'm Kuiper. Oh, I'm sorry, that banana was horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Kuiper, and I am joined by uh, Tudos, who um, may have had a hand in making this randomizer. Who the who let someone randomize this game anyway? Like, whose idea was that? Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we're it was more than level. just me for for the record. Yes, um, yes, we can obviously go over that later in the run of who all helped. But anyway, go ahead. Right, absolutely. Yeah, there's many many people went into making this wonderful, wonderful randomizer. Uh, so as like last time when I was on Sky Show with uh, Spike, we were doing level order rando. We're going to be doing that again today. Uh, Seventy golden bananas required to get into Helm. We also need to collect all of our keys, all of our Kong family members, and all of the moves required to on get all of those golden bananas and defeat K. Rule and save DK Isles. Um, an interesting thing about this seed that I'm about to boot up is this is actually a qualifier seed from a Blitz tournament that was just hosted, I want to say this past Sunday, actually, that uh, Tudos participated in and then subs and then immediately forgot about the entire seed. So we're going to experience this fresh and new as if uh, no one's ever done this before. But this is that seed from that qualifier race. It's actually the second qualifier, uh, the second tournament, actually, that's taken place of DK64 Randomizer in the last like month. So I have not seen anything from this seed. Um, but as you guys can all see right now, as I am for the first time, this is our starting setup. We're going to have Lanky and Tiny along with keys four, six, and seven. So kind of a pretty nice start. This is like the preferred start for me, actually. You love to see key, key six and seven. That means our boss requirements, the colored bananas that each Kong can pick up in each level. The colored banana requirements could potentially be a little smaller, especially given that seed that Spike and I did where uh, we had some pretty big numbers in that. So our objective is going to be, as I said, to collect keys one, two, three, five, get key eight out of Helm, defeat K. Rule, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm uh, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Oh, I'm ready to go. I'm excited about this. Uh, on your account, Kuiper. All right. I do the same joke every time where I start counting down from 100, so I won't do that this time. So we can start in 1,000. 999. None. I'm joking. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good luck. Thanks. And I'm if proud. anyone in chat has any questions about the run, of course, feel free to ask away and I'll try my best to help or I'll defer to Sky. Uh, yeah, just defer to Sky, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, who's never played the base game or the randomizer for this game. Oh, hey, that's, that's got to change soon. <laughs> Listen, neither did I. I also did not play this game vanilla. So so as you can see, uh, we went into the Japes lobby and we ended up not in Japes. This is Factory. 
Uh, one of the big staples of level order rando is the order of the levels is rando. Random. It's almost kind of like that's why it's named that. It's a little weird. Um, you'll also notice that I do not have the key for this level. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is prioritizing picking up these colored bananas. Because uh, we will have to defeat the boss here. I do not know what that boss is. That is another, again, random thing that gets shuffled amongst a bunch of other stuff. We're going to take a peek at this Kasplat. That is Donkey's Kasplat. You can actually tell by the color of the hair. That Kasplat had yellow hair, which means Donkey is supposed to be the one to pick up that Kasplat. Uh, another thing that I get to do in this showcase of this randomizer that I didn't Spike and I tried to do a, a good job of explaining a lot of things as we were doing it but I get to talk a lot more openly about some of the changes some of the strats I'm going for the bananas that I'm going for and we're actually going to free up our third Kong member already this is going to be Diddy all right so we got three Kongs we got Diddy Lanky Tiny and as you can see, that uh, that little portal that was on the wall over here, I'll actually show it a little bit better on screen here. That portal over there with the 57 on it, that is actually the number of small bananas that I need to access the boss. So we can run around here. We're also going to be picking up some coins, which are also very important so that we can buy our moves from the shops. I'm also just going to jump up here and collect these small bananas. Another good thing to do early on in these seeds is try to hit as many of these banana ports as you can. That way you can uh, get around the level a little quicker. Also going to grab these up here. I also forgot this. Co Don't worry, I won't I won't leave that one ditty banana there to maybe make a couple people in the chat a little hey, angry. Hey, so. Kuiper, what, what's that funny little thing in the top right corner? Well, what does that oh, mean? Oh, yeah, isn't that funny? So we have a D-pad heads-up display here that is actually showing... Uh, I can actually scroll back and forth between Kongs. There is a setting that we turn on basically no matter what when we do these randomizers called tag anywhere tag anywhere allows us to do believe it or not to tag in kongs anywhere you don't need to actually step into a a tag barrel to do so another thing that i can do is if i hit up on the d-pad that number that you just saw update when i picked up that um when i picked up that banana that is actually a heads up thing that will tell me how many small bananas i have so i know how close i am to the boss key this is a family upgrade. I think it's just a music upgrade that I do not need. So we're just going to go ahead and mark that off. I have a spreadsheet off to the side that allows me to... And also, we just see Donkey's face there. So Candy's got something for Donkey. It's a Donkey move. Uh, but I don't know what it is yet. So we're just going to go ahead and... Whoop, we're actually going to get back to the starting area i opened up the gate to access the rest of factory and we're gonna continue just moseying along we're gonna pick up coins pick up some smalls so this is technically level one the way the keys work in this game is that the level one key once you've obtained it unlocks level two we can go into the level two lobby the level two key unlocks levels three and four so in order to basically progress this seed, I pretty much have to get the level one and the level two keys before I really do much of anything else. So the rushing of the small bananas here is probably the play that we're going to decide to make. I only need about 17 more small bananas. We should be able to get that actually pretty quick here. I actually think we're going to get it in this room. This is the blue Kasplat. We can knock him out, pick up this lanky blueprint. The blueprints, I like to refer to them as like golden bananas on layaway. Um, you can you can dump those uh, blueprints whenever you want, and for each blueprint you turn in, you get a golden banana. Oh yeah, this was my favorite part about DK64 randomizer because Spike, I remember, was talking about dumps the last time. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you dump in this game. That is what we refer to it as. So. <laughs> Do you gotta, we do gotta, uh, do you gotta take some dumps potentially here in a little bit. So, we actually just got what is probably the best, in my opinion, it's the best thing to see early on. That is Diddy's guitar. Diddy's guitar is effectively what you would consider like the hook shot of this game. It unlocks basically all of the second half of Aztec. 
and there's actually a chance that one of our Kongs is going to be locked back in the second half of Aztec, so... Diddy's Guitar, easily one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, uh, item, musical instrument in the entire game. You also probably heard that little ding right there. Ah, oh, Diddy is stuck. Okay. Probably also heard that little audible ding there. That is actually another thing that the rando devs added into the... Oh, please climb, Lanky. Um, that's another thing that the rando devs added in. Uh, an audio cue that actually tells you, like, hey, you got enough small bananas to do the boss. You can go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do this bonus barrel here. And these bonus barrel maps are randomized too. Um, this is normally um, the slot machine game, Batty Barrel Bandit, but obviously you can see here, this is the Vine Swing game. And if you didn't know, this game has 10 unused mini games that we also threw in the random pool. So we may see one of those come up as well. And they, and most of them are, um, they're all right. <laughs> There's a couple of them that uh, you could see why the why where where kind of left them on the cutting room floor. There's a couple of them that are a little uh, not great, but hopefully we don't run into any of those. Oh, please jump up there. Okay. Um, and as you can see, we sped off sped up the feeding animation quite a bit. We feed one yes. banana a frame, so it looks kind of funny. What was the original like? How how long did it take to like? How much was it sped up? Uh, I believe it sped up four times. I believe it was one banana, oh every, one banana every four frames, and now it's one banana every frame. I could be wrong, though. Yeah. All right, let's see who our first boss is going to be. Again, this is another random thing. I do not know who this boss is. Normally for level one, you're fighting army one. In factory, you fight Mad Jack. Uh, but this is a Diddy face. Diddy is supposed to be the Kong that defeats this boss. We'll see who it is. Please don't be Puff Toss. Okay, this is fine. Uh, Tudos, do you want to talk about what you changed with this boss while I'm doing it? Um, not just this boss, but all the bosses in the game have been shortened where you can, if you play them perfectly, you will always beat every boss within 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Um... When we first came out with this game, like a lot, the big complaint was like, hey, some of these boss fights are super long, like, and they're repetitive. So, like, we cut out a couple phases on some of the bosses. This one, for instance, um, there used to be three phases where you had to hit him three times each. There's still three phases, but now you only need to hit him two times each. So, um, it does shorten it a tiny bit here. Um, it definitely speeds up without sacrificing the difficulty. And there's actually, if I remember correctly, there's actually an unused fourth phase to this fight. This fight specifically, this boss is um, King Cutout. He's normally the boss that you fight in Creepy Castle. Uh, but is is there not like a unused fourth phase of this fight? It, there's an unused fourth phase um, that is an option to turn on. It is not enabled in the settings you're playing right now, though. Right. Yeah. Um, we have a hard bosses mode um, <laughs> because, well, we consider it hard. So that's why it's not here. And if they're considering it hard, pretty hard. Luckily, I got this enemy that spawns in the middle of this uh, little pad here is also random. Luckily, I got a pretty easy one to deal with. The ones that take like two hits like the spider are super annoying. <laughs> yeah, the spider is by far the worst thing to see here. Or like a really fast, small enemy. Like you see the little dice that are in factory. Those are also kind of a pain to deal with because they're just harder to hit really good rng there like he was each time he started with the four uh swapping between each cannon it was like the one that i immediately uh, immediately to my left so and uh, just like that we got one boss taken care of we have to defeat three more if we don't include k rule at the very end and that's going to get us the level one key so we can go ahead and check out what level two is as far as moves that i've gotten the only things I've gotten so far are I have um, two moves, actually, I'm leaving behind that Donkey can get. We do not have Donkey Kong yet, so we will be picking him up later. Uh, I actually don't even know where Donkey is yet at this point. I haven't been able to piece that together, so we are going to... Where the heck am I? Okay, we're over here. We're actually going to... We're not going to leave this level yet. There's a couple more coins I can pick up, a couple more Kasplats I can check. 
And one more bonus barrel that I can do if I can pick this coin up. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone use that trough and scuff portal, by the way. Really? I don't think most people know that's there. Oh, <laughs> I hey, if I hit the I mean, if I hit the amount in that room, that's the one I go in. I mean, I know it's there, but like, it's not one I see used often. That's fair. All right, let's pick up this last last little banana port here. And I was going to say, it's probably going to be a Kasplat we can pick up. We've already seen a couple that we couldn't pick up. Also, another thing I think that got brought up, those enemies, that I, the one that I just killed, that enemy is not called a Kasplat. I think they're called Crushes. Um, we call them Kasplats because if you wait around long enough, like, you'll hear one of them go, Kasplat, like that. And it just caught on. I don't really know who's responsible for it, but when I say Kasplat, that is the enemy that I am referring to, so. I mean, to be fair, you have the multiplayer character also named Krusha, so, like, now you have two oh, things named Krusha. We're not gonna do that one. What? No, 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 we're not gonna do that one. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, that, that later. That was, that was one of the, that was one of the unused mini games that yeah. is 120 seconds long, requires 33 coins. It would have been amazing. Yeah, I mean, it probably would have been amazing. It also would have taken me about a half hour to do. So, oh, the beaver, get out of my way. So, all right, now let's start reading some hints. Uh, we got Way of the Horde. Feather is bought by Cranky in Creepy Castle. So I'm actually just going to mark that over here. So Feather is there. Chimpy Charge is bought also by Cranky. So Chimpy Charge being Way of the Horde, which Way of the Horde, if you couldn't figure it out, is actually our kind of our Way of the Hero type of things. Okay, that was somebody that had a lot of things. I did not I did not see what shop this was. I think it was Galleon someone. Funky and Gloomy Galleon has trombone, tail, and... okay. So two musical so, instruments over there. Uh, again, that was one of the changes we made in DK6 for Randomizer. The uh, wrinkly door is no longer hint how to get golden bananas in the levels. They will tell you where to find certain things or what is required to do certain tasks at the end of the game. Correct. All right, so we are so, in Jungle Japes now. I'm sorry, did I interrupt? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, like, um, the goal of this is obviously to beat K. Rule, but the there's three phases at the end instead of five, and they're all randomized on what comics have to do what phase, and that kind of decides what moves you have to get. And in addition, the helm room, instead of having to do all five of the Kong's helm rooms, you only need to do three random ones. So based on what you learn from the hints, you have to get those moves to do those rooms or those K. Rule phases, and that's how you beat the game. That is the goal. That is the objective. We're trying to save K. Rule. Or not save K. Rule. We're trying to beat K. Rule. What am I what? talking about? What game is I, this? Is it, I, I'm not like super familiar with the DK sixty the the Donkey Kong games. I don't think there is a single game where like K. Rule is your ally. So I don't exactly know what I was talking about there. What you I never played DK and Diddy's um, DK and Diddy uh, K. Rule's Inside Story? You never played it. <laughs> Is that a ROM hack? That has to be a ROM hack. It's, it's, now, right? part, of the, it's part of the DK and Diddy uh, RPG series on the Game Boy. You never heard of it? No. <laughs> I, I just huh. no. I yeah, no. I haven't. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna Google that after this is over. Uh, yeah. I don't, and, want and, <laughs> don't want that. Yeah, and it's kind of a shame because they never. I wish they would have made like a Mario and Luigi RPG kind of game. You know, that would have been you know, good too. But they. <laughs> It's weird because you think like Nintendo, right? It's, you know, Mario, Luigi, they're the two big, you know, marquee stars. But no, they chose uh, they chose to do it with Diddy and Donkey. You know, it's a little weird. Uh, I also just heard the ding already. So this boss requirement, it was very small. Also, uh, there's no Kong here to save. And I can't, I can't, also, I also can't pick up this banana. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop down here. And then we're going to drop down here because I want to grab this. I'm gonna grab this anyway. So you'll notice that there was no Kong there. Because we're starting with two Kongs, one of the four cages in the game just starts off empty. Um, and it could be a random one. It could either be this one, it could be the one in uh, Factory, or it could be one of the two in Aztec. 
However, the Kong that is responsible for picking up those bananas that you just saw is also random. So I can't pick up those two golden bananas that were sitting there. I have to come back later if I want to collect them, which we will. But I don't have the Kong to pick those up. So we're immediately going into level two. We're picking up smalls and we're now we're going to beat the boss. So this was also Japes. I did not mark that. Um, also, shout out to this tracker that was made. Um, very, very helpful. Um for keeping track of your levels, keeping track of what keys you've gotten, what moves you have. Uh, it's pretty great. So this boss, normally when you see a tiny face, you get a little scared that, oh no, maybe I'll have to fight Mad Jack. We don't have ponytail twirl yet. So this is, this is the boss I hate. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna wait here. And I'm not gonna talk the entire time because I don't wanna die and embarrass myself. Uh, it's fine, I have two melons. We won't, there's no chance that this boss kills me. There's just no way. There's no way that this will happen. So fact, just I'm like the just like the king, or king cutout phase, this boss is also shortened. Um, instead of five phases of five stars, there's only three phases of five stars. Mm -hmm. um, obviously makes things a lot easier. Um, doing this fight with one melon, though, regardless if it's shortened or not, is very tough. Um, definitely the one you don't want to see aside from Mad Jack later on. Right. Also, I believe, um, I don't know exactly when this was changed. The pattern that the stars appear is also random, which I don't think is the case in the normal game, right? Um, the, the, what the settings you're playing on right now, the stars are in a set pattern. Oh, okay. Um, I thought they, all right. I actually thought that they were random, which also makes it like, I should probably just learn the pattern. Yeah, you should probably do that. Yeah, I should probably do that. I've done probably a, close to 100 of these seeds. You'd think I would know the uh, the pattern of this. Also, if you can't tell, hey, the stars get very tiny, and they're a little tougher to hit. But you know what? It's fine. We're gaming. Of course they're tiny. You're Tiny Kong. Like, do you that think is... they were going to be chunky? <laughs> they're this small no matter what, Tudos. I won't let you pull the... I know I was going to say wool over my eyes as like a joke, like, haha, monkeys, they don't have wool. Can I just say I appreciate chat bringing this up again for folks watching on YouTube for context. Someone said there's no way he says on the GDQ channel. Yes, that is true. Words have never been spoken there. I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, see, we, t we were totally fine. I wasn't scared at all. Not frightened in the slightest. Wee. Oh, so look how, look how happy Tiny looks in that boat. Doesn't she look so happy? She looks so happy. It's great. All right, so um, we have to leave again. All right, let's get out of here. So, um, is this like a good downtime? Because I have some questions for you, Kuiper. Absolutely, yeah. I'm actually just going to, I'm running over to this shop to check it. Uh, so now is actually a really good time. What is your ideal ripeness of banana? Because it sure as heck wasn't the one you had in your hand when we started. <laughs> so... I, I had I had it planned that I was gonna like oh yeah I'm gonna eat a banana like as you know we're doing the intro to the to the show right yeah um I didn't think to you know bananas go bad if in case none of you know that uh, yeah. bananas go bad eventually <laughs> and uh, that is not the ideal ripeness for a banana I personally like it when there's no green but no spots that's that's my ideal my ideal banana i don't like them when they're green because then they, they taste funny and how do they taste funny well green hang on what's wrong with green bananas they yeah chunky I, loves them yeah uh, Ch yeah and diddy loves red bananas so <laughs> I, I i find that your guys's argument is i don't i don't support this argument I like them. Bananas are at their peak ripeness for me when they're green, but they're like just starting to turn yellow. Like I love that ripeness. It just has the right amount of everything. How about you, Tudos? What 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 do you like banana ripeness wise? Well, if you look at the color of bananas the Kongs have, I'm more of a red banana person, you know. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe the red bananas did, are spicy. Yeah, the Diddy has some very spicy bananas. I, I like those red ones. Uh, that's one spicy banana. Uh, so what I just did there is, so I got Mini Monkey, uh, which believe it or not, Mini Monkey's like, 
the best move for Tiny because that's effectively every single one of her golden bananas in the game are locked behind Mini Monkey. Another cool thing you can do with Mini Monkeys, you can go talk to that uh, banana fairy there. And she gives you. Oh, like the they put move. a banana ripening scale on the stream. I didn't even see that. Did they really? That is. I'm proud of you. <laughs> All of you in chat just know I'm proud of you. I, I'm right. holding a I... banana right now. It's like it's like more yellow than I want it to be, but at least wasn't like. Kuiper's banana earlier, where it was like yellow I, and all these brown spots on it. It's yeah. still sitting on my desk. It's, gonna it's still be, sitting there. It's gonna uh, be decomposed by the end of the scene. It, listen, we're not gonna worry about the state of this banana. It's fine. <laughs> Did freeze donkey. Okay. So I also saw this was how many? Eight. Okay. So I actually only need, okay, that is the first big hint that we see. So K rule is going to be lanky, tiny, chunky, which um, is the worst that it could be. <laughs> as By worst, as he means it's the slow, he's the slowest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily the hardest, it's the one that takes the longest. Also, did he freeze? <laughs> okay. So Diddy is going to free you both Kongs in Aztec. That's pretty funny. All right, so let's go up to level three. I still need two more bananas. So I have two Kasplats. I would like to not dump those blueprints just to get two. Because the idea is you really want to consolidate. We talked about this on the first one. You want to consolidate your dumps. And uh, make sure you're dumping as little as possible. So uh, Fungi is 34. So that hint told me that the uh, banana door to get into fungi costs 34 GBs. That probably means it's either level five or six. Primate Punch is bought by Candy, which is the level that we are about to go into. Creepy Castle. I cannot get in there yet. I need one more GB. If I wanted to be a little, I don't want to stretch it. I don't want to say stretch, but if I wanted to hold on to these, oh my goodness. There's so many moves are in castle. Holy cow. Actually, I'm going to take the death warp here. It's probably a little faster. Um, question. Um, if you're playing yes. this on an N64, do you need the expansion pack to play? Do you know anything about yes, that? Yes, 100% yes. you okay. do. All right, there yeah. you go. Uh, there's is no way to make the game smaller. <laughs> so you absolutely need the expansion pack. That's a good way to put it. No way to make the game smaller. We just go up from here. We just get, we get larger. You know, there's no going backwards. I mean, I, we could remove Lanky from the game. Maybe that'll help. No, I like Lanky. Uh oh. He's a, he's uh, a cool I don't know guy. about that. I know that. I know. Listen, I know I'm in the minority, but listen, he's got a funny face. I relate. I have a funny face. He can handstand when he needs to. I can't handstand when I need to. So that's one thing with that, you know, we're different about. But hey, you know, I, I, I relate to Lanky Kong, you know? And I'm like personally grapes. all for removing all the Kongs and make, just making this Diddy Kong 64. Diddy, Diddy Kong 64. How you want to remove Chunky? Can you believe this man? Nah, he can't really jump high. Not Can you believe that this man wants to remove Chunky Kong? He I'm can't jump high. Backs. I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks from the race with Spike where I had to get a key in Castle and... Um, it was bad. It was not a good time. We were there for like, I felt like we were there the whole day. Like the whole stream. Sky right. started falling asleep. This is going to... Oh, this is, please! Oh, come on! Diddy? I, Hello? I need, Diddy? Cut. <laughs> First of all, Diddy, please. Back of the ball. Uh, you know what? Lanky's gonna climb this with no problem. Look at this. Lanky <laughs> climbed that pole with no problem. And this guy wants to put just Diddy in the game. He couldn't even climb a pole. He's a chimp. He couldn't even climb a pole. <laughs> They're all Kongs. Oh my goodness. Oh no. All right, First let's... of all, though, you called me out. I needed a nap that morning. I'll have you know. You what? You said I fell asleep. I said I needed a nap that morning when Spike was playing through that. That is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, got, you got a point. <laughs> oh man. Is this Second another Kasplat I can pick up? Cool. 
This yes. is out of context, but this is for both of y'all. Um, what is the maximum amount of dumps you've taken on a DK64 <laughs> randomizer? Again, I'm sorry, out of context, I know, but I'm curious. I know, I think for I me, know this number. I, it's embarrassing that I, I, I counted because it got to a point where I was like, I need to keep, I need to count how many I've done. I don't know if two. I was gonna knows. say for me, for me, it's probably between fifteen and twenty dumps. Uh, that's honestly not a very healthy amount. No, it's it's not. I mean, that it's really not regular to me, you know. Well, 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 well the four, the well, the thing about that scene is that like all the boss keys didn't require a lot of bananas, so I just didn't get very many bananas that time. <laughs> that's fair. The maximum amount of dumps that I have taken in a DK64 randomizer seed um, was 10. Um, but I also that was also when I was learning how to play the video game because, again, to remind everybody, uh, that is maybe thinking about, oh, you know what, I never, this rando looks really fun, it looks really approachable, which it is, but I never played this game growing up as a kid. Neither did I. And now I'm crippling, cripple, cripplingly, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know, I'm talking, it was the banana. It's the banana's fault that I ate. It's, it's poison to me. Um, but I also did not play this game growing up, and this still remains arguably my favorite randomizer ever. It's one of the most approachable. It's one of the easiest to just pick up and play. There's already, like, a bunch of people that are ready to, like, help other, like, new runners. We've already had a couple tournaments already, and it's a lot of fun. And on top of that, we're not going to talk about too much of it yet because we still got a decent amount of the seed left to go. But uh, there are even more changes coming down the pipe with this randomizer that I definitely want Tudos to share with all of you because they're uh they're pretty exciting. So Oh yeah, yeah. Um yeah, well, I, I don't know if I want to share them yet because not everything's done, but Oh uh, well you know you're we, yeah, well, there's there's the, some the, stuff. The, well we're going to have moves and items and all that fun stuff shuffled amongst the golden bananas. That that's always a good time. So oh, all yeah, these moves Kyber's buying in shops, they might not be in shop. In fact, there's a very high chance we won't be in shops anymore if you have item rando on. So um, that is the big thing coming with our next update. That's going to be a good time. Uh, I am going to buy this. I'm actually going to buy this because this will actually get me a banana uh, down near Funky. That's a good thing to pick up. I think I also saw like Donkey's face on the shop. I did. Okay. Uh, so this is actually, this is Monkey Port. Uh, so Monkey Port is, this is another, like, kind of common question when it comes to DK64 Rando. What are, what's your, like, go mode? How do you know you're actually able to progress and beat the game? Well, the first thing you need is 70 golden bananas um, to actually access. Well, that number is changeable. You can actually change it to whatever amount you want. For the purposes of this randomizer, um, I'm going to get 70 just, you know, because to show off a little bit more of the game. Uh, but you can set that to whatever you want. You need that amount of golden bananas. You also need any of the musical instruments that are required to do the helm rooms that the game randomly generated you to do. I don't have ponytail twirl yet. <laughs> the worst part about jumping into that pit is it doesn't throw you to the start of the area. It throws you straight to the beginning of the level. Didn't realize... I I forgot I didn't have ponytail twirl. All right. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, so, you know, it was a death warp. It's fine. Uh, so other than the musical instruments that you need, uh, again, randomly generated, you could need any of the three musical instruments. You also need, depending on what the Kong order is for K rule, that is also what you're going to need. Now, if Donkey is part of the K rule fight, Donkey does not require any additional items beyond just... I guess existing in order to do that fight. Uh, Diddy requires the jetpack, the rocket barrel, and his peanut guns. Lanky requires the trombone, uh, and just the trombone. And then Chunky requires basically everything. Uh, you don't need the pineapple. I can, is that green? Yeah, that's green. Um, you don't need the pineapple launcher, but it's very, very unlikely that you're gonna finish the seed without the pineapple launcher. And then Tiny, so Tiny, you do need Mini Monkey because you need Mini Monkey for everything with Tiny. Uh, you also technically need the Feather Bow, <laughs> although you can 
in sort of a goofy way, you can complete the tiny phase of the K. Rule fight without the bow, but you need to throw the oranges at K. Rule's toes, which requires you to go into first person and get an up close look at K. Rule's toes, which is not great. Uh, so try to avoid that when you can, because it's not pretty. And I have done it before. It's a good time. It's a bit, uh, definitely uh, a rarity that happens. These are the spider enemies I was talking about earlier. These guys take two hits to kill. Oh, uh, rarity, I get it. You're playing a rare game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to come over here and use that move I just bought with Lanky. Also, this allows us to pick up some more coins. Go ahead and grab all these. This will actually allow me to open this up. And do, ooh, and do this mausoleum banana. Another thing that was done, kind of a quality of life thing, is you'll notice I pop out of this barrel almost instantaneously, uh, which makes this banana a lot easier because normally you kind of have to watch the barrel kind of oscillate back and forth. I believe I can make this jump with Diddy. We're going to try. At the very least, I can get the small bananas down here and possibly get this boss key. I think you can make this jump here. Let's try it. We're definitely going to shoot this balloon while we're down here. All right, we got the boss. You know, you door. can make that jump while on a rank sprint. You can just jump across. <laughs> okay. I'm trusting you. If this is a bait, this is the greatest bait of all time. I trust you. I'm going to do it. I mean, th this is we're entertaining people. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. You don't I'm know what's going to happen. I'm, I am blindly. This is a trust fall exercise between Tudos and I. I have never made this jump. We're going to avoid the spider. And we're going to. Ah! You lied to me. <laughs> What do you, you mean? You, you me? forgot. You never did the B attack. You're supposed to do the B attack at the oh, end. I didn't know. All right, we're going back. You go back. We're going, we're you're going doing back. it. I didn't realize that. You didn't. I didn't realize Here. that was like an extra step. I, I got. I got. Beep, 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 yeah, just back up. Beep. Back it up. Rewind the stream. We're gonna start over. Rewind the stream. All right, let's let's get this banana now. I've already made a fool of myself enough. Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. See, that was totally, that was totally, you keep, <laughs> I didn't realize you would keep doing it. That's really funny. That's hilarious. I like uh, how I told you that and it wasn't actually bait, but then you didn't do it right and thought it was bait after that. I, I trusted you. So, so, I thought, so wait a second. Where is your trust now with Tudos, Kuiper? Like, like if this was um, an actual human trust fall, would you trust Tudos to catch you? Um... Probably, yeah. I think yeah, it's fine. Yeah, all right, yeah. All right. um, I never said I was like smart when it came to how I trusted people. <laughs> I never said right, that. Well, if I ever, if I ever see you at a GDQ or some other speedrunning event, we'll do, we'll do an IRL trust fall, and we'll see if oh. we'll see we'll see if it works. I, Tudos, I want you to know, I will fall straight to the ground. Like I'm not afraid. <laughs> you you need to not underestimate my stupidity. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Think this is Chimpy Charge? Yeah. Wow, I am rich as Diddy. I did not even realize it. Holy smokes. Can't believe how rich I am. All right. So I think I'm at six golden bananas now. I think I'm at six. Let's see here. Yeah, we're at six. Okay, so now I can actually. So now we're doing. <laughs> God, we're, we're going to dump so much this seed. I can already tell. This is just going to be the joke the entire time. We're already doing. I mean, some, one. some seeds are more dumpy than other ones, you know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you know. Do you have Actually, no. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna dump the Diddy one, and then I'm gonna get the tiny feather bow switch over on the fairy island. It's like I've done this randomizer before. I know how routing works. Also, I did. Uh, I did manually set my cosmetics this seed. Um, I'm a big fan of goth Diddy here and in, in the all black. I, I was 
I was gonna question that. I'm like, what what kind of uh luck do you have to get an all like completely zero 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 hex code Diddy Kong? Yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a big fan of Goth Diddy. Um Tiny's just rocking like some orange, you know. I like I like a little bit of orange. Uh I think Tiny uh Lanky's like I don't know, some weird like mint green color, I think. Let me see here. What is he? He's kind of like an aquamarine type of color. And uh, I don't know what I have Chunky set as. I think he's purple. And um, I won't spoil what Donkey is. I'm not going to spoil it. You all will see when I see. So, let's come over here. Dang, shouldn't have made DK lock behind 68 Kongs then. That was a mistake. Oh! Or 68 darn bananas. It. Darn it! <laughs> I fell for just it again. Kidding. That would be hilarious, actually. That would actually be really, really funny. That'd be a good April Fool's I think joke. The, I think the worst I've ever seen for Kong's locked by an X Man Gold Man was like forty or something. And I think I, it was like Chunky too. It was horrible. I, I've had a seed where Chunky was locked behind. I want to say like thirty-eight bananas in Japes or something like that. It, it was. It was pretty rough. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, but sometimes this randomizer can just bury your Kong family members. Um, I, I'll check what this is actually. I still don't have a Simeon Slam. Okay, we don't need this. Oh, that was another thing that we need. Um, you need at least one of the Simeon Slam upgrades, uh, because in this uh, set, the settings that we're playing with, Chunky Chunky Kong is always going to be the final Kong in the K rule phase. And in order to ground pound the switch to spawn the barrels with Chunky, um, oh, what am I doing? I have, t I have Feather Bow now. Um, you need at least one of the Simeon Slams. I have, in the past, forgotten that and lost a race because of it. So, that was fun. We don't often talk about that. I'm real ashamed of it. Um, I want to throw this in here right now because technically what Kuiper doing, is doing right now is out of logic to free the Kong in here. Yes. Because um, the logic in randomizers do not take into account tag anywhere. And that is on mm -hmm. purpose so people can understand the logic of the game better. Yes. That is, it's just a, imagine, you know, you're going out of logic to beat a, to beat the forest temple or something like that. That's just this entire rando. Like, a lot of things are considered out of logic because the game really can't, it, it doesn't take into, like what Tudos was saying, it doesn't take into consideration tag anywhere. Um, and and I, I'm telling you, if we did take in consideration with the logic for tag anywhere, it would be a huge mess. Just flat yeah. out. Yeah. It would be, it'd be tough. All right, so we got nine there. Oh, I thought that was going to blow me up. Okay, that was interesting. All right, so we do know that this is going to be either Chunky or Donkey. I don't know who it's going to be, but uh, we'll see. Is it... Oh, is Donkey going to be the last one? Oh, it is. Okay, Donkey's going to be the... These fireballs are jerks. Okay. Let's just get a whole bunch of money as Diddy. So this is going to be Chunky, and then that means Donkey is over in the Llama Temple. Now, I read a hint earlier hey, that hey, told Kuiper. me... Hey, Kuiper. Yes? I don't mean to interrupt you, but let me show you another trick on stream live right now. Don't hit the K first. Go to the one next to it. To the left? Yeah, go to that end. Uh, backflip to all the way to the top of it. So you're standing on top of the switch. Now face your Kong out, and then Chimpy charge. Just face him outward, yeah. Now what go now now go spell Kong. Uh, oh, okay. Now spell. So, it? yeah. Well, do, well, do it while doing while back flipping onto the top of the switches. Oh no! Why well, I, I messed it up. <laughs> well, no, 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 it's fine. But what that does is make it so that you don't need to watch the raise the platforms cutscene. Although it won't matter that much when we get rid of this cutscene in a future revision. But doing this allows you to skip um, raising the platforms. Oh. 
and going all the way over by the cage to do it. So, oh, okay. Um, the, cool. the the catch is you have to hit a, a letter that isn't K first and then spell Kong. Otherwise, it won't count. But you have to do it from the top of the switch? Yeah, because the little platforms don't spawn. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I understand. Is it actually possible to backflip onto all of them no matter what Kong you are? Or do you have to be Diddy? You have to be, it's only possible, with, well, I mean, you can with Tiny, but Tiny will never be able to free a Kong here. So um, right. only Diddy can do it, Chunky cannot. Because believe it or not, he can't jump high. Like the song says. But he is a certain kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a certain kind of guy. Yeah, so here's my, here's the Chunky skin that I like. He's got a little purple, a little green. He's got a black hat. The black hat, I think, is just adorable. Let's grab these chunky coins. Since we just got chunky, he doesn't have any money beyond uh, that dirt patch I opened up. And what the dirt patches do, that was the thing I did earlier where I talked to that fairy a little bit. Um, that gives us the shockwave move. You hold B over the top of a dirt mound, you do a shockwave, and it you know gives you a rainbow coin, which gives every single Kong uh, five coins. So, um, just really quick here, here someone. Someone in the chat mentioned um, why we're not collecting bananas in this level. Um, yes. For those who haven't watched from the beginning of the run, we start randomizers for this game with three random keys. Yes. So Aztec was one of the boss keys we started with, so we have no need to collect bananas in here because we don't need to fight a boss. Yeah. I actually don't know if I have the tracker on screen. Um, but uh, yeah, do. on the tracker... It will actually, part of the tracker will actually tell you uh, what keys do you start with. So you open it. Oh, God. You open up level four. You have the level four key. That means you don't got to fight the boss here, which means we don't have to collect small bananas, which is nice. Because collecting small bananas is slow. I'm going to assume this is probably going to be peanut gun. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get our entire family here pretty quick. So that's cool. Relatively quick. We call this... Uh, I think we made this joke last time. We call this Vin Diesel percent because family means everything. Or what's what's the what's this stupid line from the movie? Family, nothing's as important as family. I don't know. I've never watched the Fast and Furious movies. I don't know what the line is. I am gonna get to show off a pretty cool trick here, a little bit also involving Chimpy Charge. Not that Domino hitting me. That was not. Dude, that like, Domino know. was absolutely flying. Yeah. <laughs> he was he wanted to hit you bad. Yeah. Another fun thing that's randomized in this game is the enemy speed is randomized. So you can come across a domino that just moves at the speed of light and uh hits you. And it's pretty funny. I enjoy it. I laugh every time. I didn't laugh that time because I was upset, but most of the time I laugh. So normally uh, what you have to do here is you're going to ring these gongs using Chimpy Charge, which is a move we have. Not that way. You're going to ring these gongs like you normally would. You're going to come over here. We're going to ring this one. I don't know if it's specific to the gong, but I always just save this one for last. We're going to walk over to this. We're going to turn around, put our back to it, spin the camera, Chimpy Charge, jump, and land on top of this uh, rising temple. That's going to just pop the golden banana inside of us like now. And we don't need Rocket Barrel to pick that banana up. So, it's pretty cool. I'm actually just gonna, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna splat. Yep, that's fine. Everything's fine. Diddy's okay. Guys, don't worry. No Diddy's were harmed in the making oh, of no, this that looked video pretty, game. That looked pretty harmful to me. Yeah. No, see, he lost fine. some health. He's fine. He, he, he's all right. I, I, Look, I, he's, I don't know about he, that one. I think he needs to go to a doctor I, or something. I, like, did you see how flat he got? There's no way that can be healthy. There's no way that that is healthy. Absolutely no way. Th that, now look what you did to Chunky. You hurt him too. I, I fell in the quicksand. What do you want me to do? Is this a... Okay, thank you. I finally have a Simeon Slam. Okay, great. Cool. All right. We got a Simeon Slam. Okay, so... Uh, we know that Donkey is over here in this temple. So let's go ahead and open up. Open up the Llama Temple. Um, I do have... 
Let's see here. I do have the grape shooter, but the grape shooter banana in here is a little slow for my taste. So normally I tend to skip it. I can go over to where the Kasplat is in this area because I have, again, Mini Monkey. Mini Monkey locks everything in this game for Tiny. And I read the hints earlier. We should see not a cop. He needs to go away. Okay. Oh, yeah. We put those things in this in the randomizer from the mini games into the main game. So, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. They throw you to the beginning of the level if you get caught by one. Yeah, it happened to Spike in our race. It was sad. It happened in Helm, too. Spike makes a fantastic noise if he gets caught by one of those. I think it's something along the lines of like, oh! or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, and the best part is the mic cuts out exactly as it did there, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the mic cuts out just like mine probably did, yeah. All right, let's, uh, uh, comment made about attire, by the way. I think Diddy looks very classy in this attire. Also, I want to say, someone forgot to give Donkey his fur back. So I apologize to everybody out there, but uh, my, my dude Donkey, someone shaved him. I don't know what happened. He's, uh... Well, that's he, rude. He's a, he's a little naked right now, but you know what? It's okay. He's, he's still got the tie on. He's still a little classy. Got some class going on here. Dude, he, he's going to respawn right now, isn't he? Get out of my way. I want these coins. I'm broke. I need coins. All right. Let's come over here, and we're going to pick up one more Kasplat and one more golden banana in this temple. And uh, I think... Hmm. I do want to go back, and I don't think I've seen anything else. Actually, no, there was a couple moves that I want to go back for. I ask this every single time. Why does Donkey Kong's butt look so well-defined for this being a 64 he, game? He's he's cheeked up, you know. They <laughs> they didn't they didn't want to do my they want to do my dude Donkey. You know they wanted to give him some you know. They there there some was a budget beef, for yeah. this game. They had to put it somewhere. <laughs> then they decided on something. Okay. I mean, everybody else looks so pixely, and then you just get Donkey Kong, which you know just cheeks like well-defined cheeks. Just cheeks. He might have had too many of those spotted bananas like I did earlier. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this oh, is I now a this. Cheeks. Oh, no. oh. It's all right, we'll just, we'll just walk out. Well, that's Cheeks. <laughs> that's Cheeks, dude. Why am I sliding on the ground? I need to be long jumping. I learned that from Riley. <laughs> the, this movement is so long if you don't take the war of holy crap. Oh yeah, this this is I lost like an hour there because I didn't touch this stupid warp right here. That was great. I would do it again. As a matter of fact, hey, we're go going back. to three hours because of that one tiny mistake. Sky. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it happens, it happens. I mean, what does this look like? Mercy kill? <laughs> <laughs> when's when's the last time I had a three? Oh, okay. We need to not die. <laughs> Everything's fine. We, we're, we're not going to die. Actually, you know what? Just because I'm so certain that I'm not going to die, I'm going to kill that beaver and pick up two health. And then uh, what was the other shop that had? Uh, was there another shop that had? I don't think Candy had anything. Let me double check before I leave. I don't believe so. And then we're probably actually going to go back and back to factory. Oh, oh. Okay, that was just the fam shop. Okay. Um, so before we go back to factory, I am going to go back over to the DKIO shop, Cranky, and pick up whatever donkey move is there. Well, I might buy that donkey move. It depends on what it is. Because there's a couple donkey moves in this randomizer that, um, for lack of a better word, are a little useless. <laughs> so Gorilla I Grab is effectively useless. There's no reason that you would ever use it. And then Strong Kong is useful if you're going for a couple slower GBs, but we're not going to be going for those. And there's also a couple ways that you can get around the Strong Kong requirement. So, see what this move is. I'm definitely going to buy whatever move this is for Chunky. As you can see, Chunky's face up on the marquee there. This is... This is Coconut Gun. Okay, this is, without a doubt, Donkey's best... Uh, move he can get. It unlocks a lot of stuff. Like, a, just a lot. <laughs> a lot of so, things in Galleon are locked by it. A lot of bananas in Japes are locked behind the coconut gun. Believe it or not, it's like the first thing you get in this game, so they expect you to have it. This is a Hunky Chunky. Again, 
all all of Chunky's moves are required for these settings because Chunky is the final phase of the K rule fight 100% of the time. So you kind of consider the Chunky moves, the, you know, the light arrows, the bow, and the magic of this game. So I think I also forgot to mention when we were talking about what you need for go mode in this game, you also always need monkey port, regardless of whether or not Tiny is part of the helm phase or the K rule phase. And the reason for that is because monkey port is the thing that allows you to warp up to the entrance of helm. And there's no other way up there unless you like cheat, I guess. I think there's a way to cheat that, right? Isn't there a way to cheat that? Uh, I don't speak of yeah. this game. I don't know. Does you it involve you can do some. Uh, well, there's a thing called a moon kick and you can yeah. just kind of fly across into helm. Easy. Yeah. That uh, but there, there is a trick you can do with rocket barrel to get up there, but it's the timing is kind of tight. Right, yeah. Because it Still removes your rocket barrel power when you get close to K Rule's ship. That right there, that trick you just saw me do, that is my sole contribution to this randomizer. That backflip right there. That One day I was, I was playing this and I was like, you know what? I wonder if you can backflip through there. And you can. The only thing I've ever contributed to this randomizer. <laughs> you also contributed to shaving DK, but we don't talk I, about that. I, I mean, okay, well, yeah, you're, yeah, we we really don't talk about that ever. So let's let's not talk about it now. I think this is a chunky Kasplat. Yeah, it's chunky Kasplat. All right, so now the pace of this randomizer. So once you get your entire Kong family, the pace of you picking up golden bananas and progressing through the levels. It picks up a lot. So as you can see right now, I only have, I think I only have like 13 GBs. That mu that number is going to go up substantially in the next couple levels while I am getting the rest of my moves, uh, picking up the rest of my keys. The only other key I need to get is the level three key, which is castle, which we already kind of started. I actually think I already have enough to get that boss done. And then we're going to be going into level five, which I don't know what it is yet. I'm imagining it's going to be forest. And uh, that'll be the last boss that isn't K. Rule that we fight. Let me actually come over here and see what this donkey move is, which I have written down. This is that is um, you could tell by what the uh, what the shopkeeper, whether it's shopkeeper, whether it's funky candy or cranky. You could tell what the move is based on what they say. I know that that is Strong Kong and. Probably not going to need Strong Kong this seed. I could get a banana here with Strong Kong. But uh, I think based on our level layout and how everything else is shaping up, I don't think I'm going to need it. So let's go ahead and backflip up here with Diddy. And pick up this other move here that Candy actually has. Two things I'm looking for here for Donkey. I'm looking for Bongos. And that is Strong Kong. That is the worst move in the game. We are not buying that. So let's just skip that. But you can get stronger. I think he's already strong. I don't know. I don't know why the move's called that. Let's see. Is this? Uh, no, that was the move. Right, let's exit and re-enter. I mean, it, it's true. He is bigger, faster, and stronger, too. He's Here's also the first crew. member of the DK crew. Huh. Sorry, I had to throw the huh in there. I feel like that's the important part. Right, uh, what was the next? It was like CG Coconut Gun. CG Coconut. I, I mean, that's what you just that bought. Entire song so. by heart. <laughs> of all people, I <laughs> you should know that entire song by heart. Oh, he hit himself. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he hit himself with that. That was great. Man's doing tricks on stream. He is. Yeah. All right, chat. All right, I chat. I told myself I wasn't going to do this banana because it's one of the hardest bananas in the game. I have to count to 16. Can I do it? Chat, can you chat? Help him count to 16. Yeah, can you Otherwise, he can't do it. I'm going to I'm going to see if I can remember how to do this. All right, that I, I think I'm doing OK so far. I think I'm doing uh, right. the I'm, five in the corner, the five in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We have no, no, six no, no, that, wait, that was the wrong one. Oh, God, that those two of them next to each other. The, Why is there nine the next to each other? Why is there so nine? I knew which one was the right one. Don't lie oh, to no. Me. Um, um, I think the next think, one is 98. There's yeah, a nine. Think, no, think, 91, 91 right there. Okay. 91. I only have two left. There's no way I can mess this up. 
I did it wrong. Okay, we're good. All right, I counted correctly. Okay, we ended at 91. Perfect, cool. We end, Yeah, we ended at 91, great. I counted all the way up to 91 there. Isn't that great? Isn't that awesome? All right, 15 GB. Thank you, Chad, thank coins. you. Yes, thank you, chat. I appreciate it. I don't know if I would have been able to do that without you guys. That was, whew, that was a lot of pressure on me in that moment, and uh, I'm proud of myself. The, the dominoes this seed have been, like, so rude. There's been so many rude dominoes. I, I tried to backflip up that pipe, but I was way too close. So I just kind of, like, zipped to it. All right. Let's come over here. We're going to get... Uh, maybe... How many more bananas do I want to get here? Maybe three or four? We're definitely going to get this one right here. Again, coconut gun. Probably one of the best moves in the game. Because all we have to do over here... Oh, this is also why Gorilla Grab is useless. Normally, to get any of the production room bananas, you need to pull this lever with Gorilla Grab. The production room is just on by default. Uh, so that lever is already pulled. So uh, we can just go over to the production room and grab some GBs which is pretty nice. This is actually one of my, this was originally when I first started learning this randomizer. This was like one of my go-to things that I would do like virtually every seed. Once that got changed, um, there's a lot of really quick GBs you can get up this way. I, I, I'm going to attempt to do one out of logic. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This jump with donkey is not the simplest, but we're gonna go for it. See if we could show it off. Not this one I'm about to do here. This one, this one's relatively oh, easy. Oh, that was it. a really tough jump. I'm glad you got that not tough jump into you right now. Not Ooh. that one. And not that one either. The one up oh, here. Oh, you got it. He got it. Yeah. Can, can, can we get someone else on the mic? I'm just, Tudos is making fun of me. What? What? No, no. Oh, look at, oh my goodness. Look at all those jumps that you just said. Incredible. Amazing. So I'm gonna Give Kyber a banana. round of applause, chat. <laughs> Man, everyone, everyone's just clapping like, oh my god, yeah. Like a golf clap. All right, let's grab this, because I de I guarantee you I'm going to fall. These platforms, for whatever reason, um, they covered them in, like, butter or something like that. So these platforms, they'll just, like, kind of push you off for no reason. So there's a bonus barrel up here. Uh, that requires ponytail twirl as I expertly showed off in castle. I don't have that move yet But using the powers of I guess donkey's feet uh, We can cross this gap now. I Need the camera to be behind me so that I can push true north as much as possible And we're gonna get it. All right, cool. That was awesome. Hey We got it. Hey, we got it. All right, cool Welcome to bonus stage Wait, is this the really bad one? Oh, this is the unused game. You have to do this. You have to do this. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to attempt this. Okay. So this one, this game's a throwback to the Donkey Kong Country days when you, there was actually bees in between the vines. Right. Uh, and again, this is in this is in the game's code. It just was never used in the final version of the game. I, I don't want to go, I'm afraid. I I hate him. Please go. I'm going, I'm going to commit. Oh, I would have. Okay. Oh, this dude. Oh, he's just, he's, it's impossible. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. All right. We got it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, when is he going to let me go? Okay. That actually deserves a round of applause game. That first try without getting hit. That was actually really good. What a gamer. What a, what a gosh darn gamer. Oh, here's another thing you could do. I didn't hit the, okay. Well, I forgot to hit the Diddy switch. Um, it's okay, it's fine. I was gonna show off. You know what, I'll show off what you can do there uh, before I kill this guy. So normally you're supposed to hit the Diddy switch down at the bottom and that spawns the banana up here. Well, with Tag Anywhere, you could just backflip and then grab that ledge as Chunky and pick up that banana. Um, I forgot to hit the Diddy switch. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that. D did your health refill? What happened? Okay. We're just gonna shoot that guy, grab that Kasplat, and we're gonna leave. Also, we're at 18 there. Okay, so let me actually go back to Japes now in our continued quest to sort of fill out this golden banana count. Now that we have a bunch of moves, we got all of our Kongs together, 
We have the two hints that we really want to see. Uh, let's start picking up some stuff. Let's grab these coins as well for Chunky. And another, let's see here. What else did I have? Was there anything? I'm not sure if Cranky had anything. I'm going to go back there and look anyway, because I want to do some of these timer trials. Also, one of the things I always have to bring up, one of my favorite things in this game is just how excited Diddy gets when he pulls out the peanut pop guns. Like, listen to how hype this guy is. Listen to this. He's so happy. He's just like, whoo and like he's like, I'm ready, you know. Is that I was about to ask if you Kremlin. could imitate his. Ex I was about to ask if you're going to imitate his excitement, but there you go. That sounds that like was a it. Pillsbury Doughboy to me more than Diddy. <laughs> do you want me to do the Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> Yo, new new future feature. We're putting the Pillsbury Doughboy model in place of Diddy. <laughs> that, would be so that would be. Good. That's pretty good. I'd be craving desserts after. <laughs> I mean, that that would be the the thing that would happen. Why do I want a cinnamon roll suddenly? <laughs> Why do I really want a cinnamon roll right now? It's so weird. All right. So if you couldn't figure out earlier, um, Diddy can jump really high. And uh, these vines are just low enough that you can jump up there as Diddy. And then you can actually jump back. Now, the thing about jumping back over to where this Kasplat is, is he could just knock me off this platform if he wants. There's a, actually a very funny clip of me uh, that I wasn't scared at all. Um, there's a very funny clip on my channel where my camera got stuck behind this wall over here. And I just kind of like didn't know where I was going. And then when I spin the, spun the camera back, he immediately ground pounded and knocked me off the uh, off the ledge there. To which I said something along the lines of this game was made in a cave. And that's another thing that I contributed to this randomizer is just the saying of this game was made in a cave. Oh, OK. I want you to donkey. I know you're naked, but I need you to I need you to focus, my man. I need you to get up here so I can grab these two bananas. Oh, I guess these are vanilla, technically, when you consider it. These are the two bananas you pick up as Donkey when you free Diddy in the vanilla game. I know that much about the vanilla game. I, two I know the box. order that the Kongs are unlocked. That might be it. That might be all I know. All right, so we can actually finally, now that we have those two bananas picked up, we can actually come over here and look at the back half of Japes. The back half of Japes has two more Kasplats and then a whole bunch of like timer trial bananas that we actually unlock again with the coconut gun. So early levels coconut guns really good to see. We're going to come over here and grab this banana port there because it will be a little faster. I am going to grab three of the timer trials here. There's also another Kasplat back here. This is uh, normally this is Lanky's. So we're actually going to grab this as well. Oop. D-pad over enough. Sometimes I forget that I can go in either direction on the D-pad. When you scroll through the Kongs, I'm like, oh, I took the scenic route. All right, we don't need any more. Uh, we don't need any more family upgrades now that we have an ammo belt. I like to find at least one ammo belt in these. And we have the one Simeon Slam. So we are set when it comes to family upgrades. Also, Gotta love the, the bright yellow Rambi. This is another another one of my favorites. You want to talk about looking like a banana. My dude looks like the healthiest yellow banana you will ever see. Looks healthy in that banana you ate earlier. It's, it is still on my desk. It is sitting right there. What is the status of the banana peel? It has gotten more brown. It is it is now fully encased ah. in a It is now fully um that I might throw that away. Yeah, that that would be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. We'll wait till the you know what? We'll wait. I have to you know what? In order for me to throw the banana away, I have to beat the seed. That is the stipulation. <laughs> oh no, otherwise it's gonna decompose into your desk. I mean I mean what's the worst that could happen, you know? It'll be it looks like it'll be fine, right? 
I mean... Every once in a while, I check on it and like, is it, is it okay? Is it going to be all right over there? Kuiper, what is your definition of fine in this case? Um, It is a very... There's a wide variety, believe it or not, <laughs> of um, options for that. I like, mean, honestly, I... like, if my, co my computer could burst into flames right now, I probably think it's fine. <laughs> Which, funny enough, that actually did happen to me during a stream. Um, mm -hmm. My computer didn't burst into flames, but it hard reset and corrupted my entire hard drive. What? Yeah, like live on stream that happened. Is this and, your current computer? Um, yeah, I got it fixed. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Go like I said, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Um, it's not fine. It's actually, I, I fear for my life every time I boot this thing up. At any given moment, it could just go up like a, like a hot air balloon. All right, let's pick up this Kasplat. But yeah, it was it was it was great because there was this like single frame of. So what happened was what caused the computer to crash initially was just me opening up File Explorer. So the the end of the stream was like, uh oh, my computer's frozen. Uh oh, what's gonna? And then it's just like my face like, and then that's it. And uh, I had to get a new. Comp I had to basically scrub my hard drive because it was corrupted. And this, this is, is why time. you don't delete System 32 on stream, ladies and gentlemen. This oh, <laughs> that's the reason. I deleted System 32 as a kid without realizing it. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> What's the story behind this? Oh, I don't know. I was playing either Roller Coaster Tycoon or like 3D Space Cadet Pinball, and I must have hit something, <laughs> what and game. my computer would just not work. I was like, what, like? Oh my gosh, like 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there? I mean, remember, computers were kind of ancient back then, so it didn't take much to, like, do that to them. And, yeah. Yeah, I deleted System 32. Even the person who went to go take a look at your computer looked at mine and was like, I don't know how she did this. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> when yeah, when the tech people like, I don't know how this happened. I'm an expert at breaking things, apparently. <laughs> Don't delete system 32. Don't ever do that. To anyone that this is a PSA. Don't eat don't eat bananas that look like that and don't delete system 32. All right. Let's uh let's do actually play go... DK64 randomizer though. Yes, definitely go to dk64randomizer.com and uh play this randomizer. It's great. It's a lot of fun. It's very very customizable like I've said. Um there's actually an entirely different way you can play this rando, which is um, loading zone rando, which is uh, it's an undertaking if you want to try that out. Um, it basically just randomizes all of the entrances in the game. And or if you're crazy, you just turn all the options on and just go at it. Oh, yeah. If you want to turn everything on, that'd be I'd be fun. I would watch you. I would watch you do that. I would never do it, but I would watch you do it. That sounds like a, I, I have thought about doing like an like a super hard mode seed where it's like uh, you turn on like Iron Donk. There's no health refills. There's no like all the enemies are hard. Like I thought about doing that I mean, and like trying it out, seeing how fun that would be. But we will see. So believe it or not. Uh, I want to I don't actually don't have a timer running. I don't know how long ago it was, but um, I've had the ability to beat this boss for a while and I haven't. The main reason is because key three doesn't do anything. There is no auxiliary purpose to key three. As I was talking about earlier, key one unlocks key lo lobby two, lo uh, key two unlocks lobbies three and four. Key three just doesn't do anything. Uh, key four unlocks lobby five. Key 5 unlocks Lobby 6 and 7, and then Key 6 and 7, which I already have, unlock Helm. So, that's the reason why I kind of put this key off, uh, which you can do in when if you ever want to try this randomizer. If you got to do Key 3, you could do it at the very end. I actually could have went into level 5 and gotten the level 5 key before this one. Doesn't change anything. So, but I figured since I was coming back here to pick up some moves, I figured I would just do it now. Another boss fight, the uh, Tudos talked about this earlier, another boss fight that has been sped up. I believe uh, this, this one, one is just... Actually, this one is not. Oh. This is one of the only two that haven't. 
You're right. This one has not been sped up. I'm think I saw Dogadon and I'm like, oh yeah, it was sped up. Dogadon 2 has been sped up. This fight has not been sped up. So this one's already fast. Um, one thing that has been sped up though is Tiny's barrel throws. Now normally Tiny yes. doesn't throw barrels in the main game. He throws them really freaking slow. So we had to speed yeah. them up, otherwise he wouldn't be even be usable in most bosses. Look at this. Look at how fast she throws that thing. Now. I, you guys upped all of the barrel throw speeds, right? I believe just tiny. Blam okay, and chat could correct me am I wrong. Blam is one of the main devs in this game. But okay. Or in yeah. this, for this, by the way, he's in chat right now. I hope. Yeah. B Blam is the is the monkey scientist. He's the one behind the scenes. He's the you know the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. That's that's Blam. That's him. He's the man behind the curtain. Whenever something breaks, he's the one that we're all like, Balam, something's broken, fix it, please. And then he's like, all right, okay, what did you guys break? And then, you know, and then he fixes it. It's great. The it's a good 32. system. Yeah. <laughs> Balam, we deleted system 32. PSA, do not delete system 32. <laughs> yes. D Again, we want to we wanna emphasize, do not do that. God, someone's going to be like... Ah. The people at the GDQ chat told me to delete this. I don't remember how. No, we did not. <laughs> we Please do not do that. Idea. Oh, we wow. we uh, increased the speed of some of the other throws too, as Blam is in, in the chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, we have set up both tiny air and ground throws, Lanky's air throw and Diddy's ground throw. Ah. There you have it. That's the specifics of it. There you go. The I, the one Kong that I know you guys didn't speed up was Chunky because Chunky Randy Johnson's those those barrels like if Wait, I get what? a chance to fight Dogadon too he like he chucks those things oh, I just wanted to make sure he throws those things like I mean he could probably put a hole through like a ship with how fast he throws those things am I gonna splat oh I saved it okay cool. All right, so I need six more. I need six more. So, Sky, get ready. We're dumping again. We're gonna do. We're gonna do another little little dump here. Uh, I want to dump. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do. I need to get the thirty-six, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do these two, and then. Oh no, thirty-four. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong number. It's thirty-four. So we're gonna do these two. And that'll put us at 30. Then we're actually going to dump tinies. Because again, the, the objective, what I'm trying to do with these with these blueprint dumps is I'm trying to consolidate them. Because as you can imagine, dumping more blueprints all at once is a faster way to do it. Because you get all of the bananas from these all at once. So right there, I just turned in three blueprints. So I got three golden bananas. So one longer dump session is better than several dump sessions across a period of time. Got it. Right. Really? It is it is much healthier to do one long dump <laughs> than, than, you know, segmented. Oh, n n you know what? We're just going to move on. I mean, on. when you got to go, gonna, you got to uh, go, though. I mean, I'm going to pick up this, <laughs> pick up this golden banana. And we're going to go back over here. I mean, all the bananas and now are we're gonna go into force. right? Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. That's a, yeah, that's a way to put it. That's certainly a way. I think to it's put time it. to go. In, I think it's time to go into level five. I think Let, let's let's go, let's go check five. it out. We're gonna go into fungi forest, which actually, I I have a difficult relationship with fungi forest. Fungi forest conceptually is the coolest level in this game. It's very cool. It's fun to kind of move around with. And honestly, the bananas aren't that terrible to get, honestly. There's a couple really bad ones, but a lot of them are, like, not that bad. The problem with it in Randomizer is because you need a bajillion things to get some of the bananas in this game. And on top of that, some of the bananas are segmented away uh, to the day-night cycle and things like that. It kind of just objectively gets left behind as, like, the worst banana in ra or the worst level in Rando. That is not a terrible boss number. Uh, boss number there. Two or three is actually very, very manageable with how I tend to. So oh, with that, but we do cap out in this these settings of randomizer yes. the four hundred bananas on the Trauma mm -hmm. Scout portals. 
If I, and one seed I've gotten has been 399 bananas in crystal caves. And caves is like the worst level to collect bananas in. Yes. By far, it is the worst. It's also the, the level I'm worst at it. So I'm very glad that uh, caves will not be included in the small banana routing. As you could tell, I've been in five levels. I haven't seen caves yet. And I also haven't seen galleon yet. So between level six and level seven, one of them is going to be caves. The other is going to be galleon. And theoretically, if you wanted to this seed, you could route this to where you don't have to get a single golden banana in caves or in galleon. There's a lot of really fast bananas in caves and galleon, though, so we're going to go in there and get those. But if you're not comfortable with, you know, a certain level, maybe you don't know where some of the bananas are in that level, you can just not do it. The only levels that are hard required for you to go into are the levels that the keys are required. Why can't I jump up here? I am like, I am in a very awkward spot in the water here where I can't jump up. Okay. Let me come over here. I do have primate punch, correct? Yes, I do. So let's go in here. I believe there are some tiny bananas in here that I can get. I'm going to pick these up. I also, I didn't mention it. I Go oh, ahead, go Sky. Oh, I was no, going to ask, say, and you can answer this at your leisure, is what do you yes. and Tudos do on your streams, and when do you typically stream? But you can go with your thing first. I just wanted to know that. Oh, no. I, all I was saying was I did get Primate Punch earlier, and Primate Punch is very, very good in some of these later levels to pick up a lot of really quick GBs and also a lot of uh, small bananas. But uh, to answer your question, uh, I don't know, Tudos, you can answer that first, I guess. I did not mean to pick that up. Uh, on my stream, I do. I play DK64 Randomizer. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, I'm also a big fan of Ocarina of Time Randomizer. I do do that. And mm -hmm. you may see me play a game called Splatoon 3 because I'm somehow okay at it from time to time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're okay with stuff. Um, I didn't mean that sounded really insulting. I didn't I didn't mean for that to be insulting to Tudos. Like, oh, yeah, sometimes you're good at things. Um, anyway, on my I mean, stream, it's true. I, sometimes I'm good. I mean, I'm not going to show you. Sometimes I'm good. Sometimes I'm bad. Sometimes yeah, I'm in yeah. between. Right. Most exactly. of the time I'm bad. Um, on but my now stream, tell us about your stream, Kuiper. Yeah, on my stream, um, I don't play Donkey Kong 64 randomizer. Um, no, I do. Um, I do that. Um, I also just do a lot of like what I like to refer to them as is like, I don't even know. Like just I, I really seem to enjoy really stupid challenge runs. So I really do get a kick out of things like FM five card. I really enjoy other randomizers and challenge runs. Um, I've done Kingdom Hearts rando. I also like to play Hades occasionally. And the big thing that I do a lot on my stream is I play SMRPG low level. Um, I actually did a run of that a couple oh. days ago, actually. And uh, I used to be the third place on the leaderboards. I have since been bopped down to fourth place. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of that recently and practicing a lot of new strats that have come out for it. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's a good time. I do a lot of things that just make me sad on stream, which I know sounds weird, but it's a good time and I enjoy it. So, oh, wow, you can go really far during that cutscene. That's I didn't realize how far you could go. Um, but yeah, that's mainly what I do. I used to also speed run Odyssey, but that's <laughs> you, you can only go through so many pro controllers when you speed run Super Mario Odyssey until you're like, maybe I should find other speed games to play. <laughs> Hey, I did one speedrun of Odyssey, and I said that was enough for me. So, I, I get it. I get it. I love... I still love Odyssey. Od Odyssey still, you know, got a soft spot for that game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I speedran it for many, many, many years. And, uh, but then somehow I got roped into doing DK64 Rando. So, here we are. I did not get any I mean, of those. I mean, the, bri the bridge from Odyssey to DK64 Randomizer is obvious, right? It's Everyone knows. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely, this is like, you know, this is the gateway into it, right? You play you play Odyssey, and you're like, okay, but now I want the real thing. And then you play DK64. You, you, you boot up a web browser of your choosing, and you go to DK64randomizer.com, and you hit the Season 1 race settings, and you could do a seed just like the one I'm doing right now. Just like the one that everybody did last Sunday in our uh, tournament race. That is the second Whoa. tournament that we've done in the last month. Um... I believe Connor was the one that won 
the tournament last time. It was him and Riley in the finals. The top four, actually, two of them are in this car right now. Myself and Tudos were part of the final four. You need to go away. <laughs> I, I just... He was moving real quick, so I was like, I want to get rid of him. Yeah, that, that was a fast one. He, he wasn't letting you get away if you got even any closer than that. Yeah, I, I did not want him to get any closer to me, so... All right, let's pick up some bananas around here. And again, this is just, you know, as you play this randomizer, as you get accustomed to learning where everything is in this game, you can kind of like... There's a lot of flexibility in how you route these boss door requirements. Um, I personally really like kind of coming over to this area and picking up all these smalls. Um, there's a decent amount over here. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to go all the way up to the top of the giant mushroom in this area. I'm actually just going to take this banana port back. And I think the three one is over here. And if I check the number here... Oh, wow. We... <laughs> We actually already almost have it. I, I don't even really need to do much more of anything else. So we're just going to shoot this. And there we go. We got it already. Nice. Um, because of that, I can actually... I actually think I did that okay because... So you'll notice as I climb up this mushroom, there are a lot of chunky bananas uh, all the way up. This is where the majority of Chunky's bananas are in this level. The problem is, is Chunky doesn't move very fast, whereas Donkey, as you can see, moves very fast. So the fact that I'm actually going to be able to navigate this entire mushroom to go all the way to the top, and the reason I'm going all the way to the top is because, as you can see, there's some, some splats I'm going to pick up along the way. Uh, I'm actually not going to probably go all the way to the top, but we're going to go up about halfway. But... If you were doing this with just Chunky, it takes quite a bit of quite a bit of time to go all the way to the top of the mushroom. But because of the way I routed that, we got a lot of the bananas in the area that I was just in. We call it the Forbidden Land. Because uh, a lot of the GBs, as a matter of fact, I think all of the golden bananas in that area are just bad. You just don't get them. How, how are you alive? I can't believe it. Okay. We're going to pick this up. We're going to exit and re-enter the level. And then we're actually just going to go and... I think I'm going to turn in these blueprints actually over by Snide. Because I don't know how much it costs to get into level 6 or level 7. So we're actually going to dump the remainder of these blueprints that we've picked up along the way. And get up to what I believe will be 40... Trying to do this math in my head. 44? 44 total golden bananas we will have. Uh, and if I don't have enough to get into level 6, then we can go into another level and pick some more up. So, actually going to pick up. And this is going to be our final boss that we fight. Uh, other than K. Rule. K. Rule is the final boss of the game. This is going to be the last boss we fight. Level 6 and level 7 are strictly going to be just cleaning up the rest of the golden bananas. I do have a couple... Uh, bananas that I'm going to show off um, as just as far as like some of the things that have been sped up in this randomizer. Uh, some of the bananas that you would normally not get in the vanilla game that uh, we get uh, occasionally because they're a little bit faster. So we're going to show that off here in actually I think one of them is in Galleon and then what was the other one that I was going to do? Oh, it was in Factory. We'll, we'll substitute that one out for another one. So. Yeah, well, yeah, you're going to go back to factory and do the 33 coin one, right? The thir the the what? The 33 coin bonus barrel. That's what you're doing, no. right? No. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you you should do it. It's unused. It's it and is we're using unused, it. but I mean, I already did an unused one. You should do another one. Also, don't worry about what I'm doing here. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's we're just we're doing some tricks and, you know, some strats to make the boss go a little faster. Also, I want to see if I can get this one. Please put the barrel down. No! He... Okay. You can see what I was going for there. I can see if I can get it on the third hit. You can set that barrel down directly in front of where Army pops his head out and blow him up instantly. Uh, we'll see if I... I was a little too close. We'll see if I can get it on the third one here. By the way, apologies here for a little bit of the flashing. 
though, but... Oh, again. yeah, this, this game... This game tried to be, you know, a little cool with the flashing lights and the darkness and the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, the camera is not... Okay, I put the camera in a really weird spot there. That is how it's supposed to look. There you go. We got to show that off, at least. Uh, do I want to dump my Kasplats, or do I want to just see... Hmm. Do I want to just see what the numbers are, and then maybe I can go into some other levels? Hmm. I think, I'm, I, think I am just going to take a peek at what the... What the cost to get into level six and seven are. I think that's a good way to do this. And again, for those who haven't watched the beginning of the stream, um, all the B lockers are have randomized values, like progressive yeah. randomized values, up right. to seventy. So we know Helm, the final one, will always be seventy golden bananas. The rest of the Wait. levels will be underneath that, depending on what's in logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me go over here and get into level six. This is normally Crystal Caves. It could actually be Crystal Caves. We have not seen Crystal Caves yet. All right, cool. So we got a vanilla level here. Uh, here's another cool trick that you can do. So normally this banana requires Strong Kong, but you can just put yourself up against the wall. We're going to throw in orange. Not that. And we're just going to roll through the lava and pick that gold banana up. So there you go. You could just skip needing Strong Kong there. All right, let's go over here and grab. There's a Kasplat in here. I mean, I still don't have the pineapple. I was talking earlier about how, like, oh, yeah, you, you know, you always get the pineapple launcher. I have not seen it yet. So it's got to be in one of these last two levels unless... Um, well, I guess now I would, that would be the only place it would be. It can't It can't be in the other shop in Forest because you need the pineapple launcher to get in there. All right, so 40 is needed to get into caves. I have enough to get into caves if I want to dump my Kasplats. But I also want to go check what level 7 is. We know level 7 has to be Galleon now through process of elimination. Uh, Galleon is also a good level for golden banana collection because there's a lot of golden bananas kind of concentrated in one area. Uh, which is the lighthouse area. I can't get all of them because I don't have the rocket barrel for Diddy. So I'm really going to try to maybe route that in and sort of finish up my collection up to 70 there. Also, this is another chunky Kasplat, which unfortunately I did turn in the chunky Kasplat. So that's a little bit of a time waste. But I can actually jump Can't up here. You wasted and... time dumping blueprints. Unbelievable. I know it happens. All right, so 54. So. Hmm. Okay. How do I want to handle this? Um. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dump to 40. Get into caves. And then uh we're gonna go from there. Probably finish up in... There was a banana that I wanted to go back in Factory and do. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go back and do that one. I know exactly which one it is. I'm not going to say it anymore because I know you know what I'm going to say. Not the... It's not the... It's not the 33 collection in... I don't want to do that one. It's so slow. It's so slow. No one wants to... There's not a person in this Twitch I, chat. I mean... I that mean, wants alternatively, me to go back and do that really slow, really crappy golden banana. Nobody wants me to do it. Nobody. Alternatively, you could go find Beaver Bother and see what we did to that game. It, it I don't like that alternative. <laughs> Is it the same shade of the banana? I. <laughs> you have. Do you do you want a do you want a banana update? <laughs> Update cam, let's go. It's 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 starting to get a little wrinkly. Oh my god! It, it, it's starting to get a little wrinkly. Oh no! Starting to get a little wrinkly. It's it's. I'm starting to get a little concerned. <laughs> does it smell at all? To be totally honest with you, if it does, I've blocked it out by now. <laughs> oh my god! If it if it does, I'm not even noticing it because I'm I'm trying to just we're just trying to play video games, you know. <laughs> So you're good. not paying attention to how how garbage like that banana peel is becoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is the banana we're talking about. It's starting to get a little stiff in certain spots. Oh my you know? gosh! Ew. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fine. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> We're playing. Piper's you know. definition of fine. The wrinkly that is... stitch banana. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it looks okay, right? Everything, uh, everything looks he okay, has right? a He's at, Bana it, at Bananas in dedication to Wrinkly Kong, who passed away in between DKC3 and DK64. Oh, that right. is correct. <laughs> it is in her honor. Wrinkly Kong, by the way, is the Kong that I've been getting the hints from. That's Wrinkly Kong. So. All right, let's cut that corner. Let's, oh, okay. Let's come over here. Was there ever and... lore on why Wrinkly passed away? Oh. Like, was that was it ever? I I can't remember. Oh, it's everything's fine. We're just gonna rewind, rewind the tapes. I feel like we need a compilation of everything that Kuiper says that's fine. That's really not fine. <laughs> I... Okay. All right. I almost I almost fell again, and that time it was not my fault. Totally. Right. Um, I, something that is fine, though, I want to mention in Crystal Caves, we actually removed that uh, giant culture that causes falling rocks every couple oh, minutes. Oh, um, God, thank you. <laughs> One of the best things that was changed. One of the best things. Definitely right, one of the best quality of life features we added. Um, I, just, it was just an no, you didn't even get a gold banana for defeating that thing. Yeah, it was literally just there to be obnoxious. Like, it wasn't there for any other purpose than to just annoy the crap out of you. <laughs> I feel like I want to move around as Chunky. I haven't been Chunky enough this seed. Chunky's, Chunky is like the mascot of this game, right? Gotta have, gotta have some Chunky respect. Uh, please, please be Rocket Barrel. Oh, okay, you don't have Spike cool. here for the chunky noise. I saw him feel so sad. Ooh, chunky. I can't do it. That's close, but I mean, you know, Spike. chunky. Spike's got a certain touch for that. <laughs> uh, this is going to be saxophone, if I'm Yeah, this is saxophone. Process of elimination. This is saxophone. Okay. I still say they blew their budget on well-defined behinds. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> all the budget. It, it's like the least polygon thing in the game. I just want to point out that well-defined behinds, if that is not a band name, <laughs> that needs to be a band name. That was <laughs> magical. And you didn't even intend for it to be that nah. magical. No, nah, no, nah, absolutely. But that's well seriously, defined like, behinds. Else is all polygon, and then like you, you, you know, you see the behinds of each character, and it's like, what the heck? Why did they pick that? To look, look at that beautiful behind on DK. I know, oh right? my goodness! It's like when you play on Mario Party, and you know which board I'm talking about—the birthday cake. That's like the most well defined thing is the behind of Donkey Kong, and I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Just, why? Just, just like the just like the person in chat, one of our lovely devs, almost eagle says, it wasn't a budget, it was a butt jet. <laughs> oh I Oh I that made me angry. That's that gonna be the name me... of this episode. Well defined behind with Kuiper and Tino. Well defined Well defined but behinds with Kuiper don't care. <laughs> Put that on a resume. There you go. Yes, I, and and for my own knowledge, uh, Kuiper, at the end of the run, at the end of the run, for everyone who's been awesome and sticking around with us, we have to see the status of the banana by the end of the run, because that way we get this nice little time lapse of oh <laughs> the yeah yeah Kuiper for sure. Ate the banana oh. to what happened at the end. <laughs> um, I might be bailing on this banana. Kuiper, yeah, I'm not like, sure why you decided to do one of the hardest golden bananas in the game, especially with random. We're going to bail, I think, maybe, unless I can clutch this out. Come on, Kuiper, for the fans. For yeah, the fans. I felt. I felt. I felt. I don't think I can do it. Why did that one miss him? I can't. Nope. I got to get out. <laughs> What's that, you can't? The, the, spider, the spider knocking me off the platform was, was the end of that. All right, we'll, we'll back that up. We'll get another one. He does need well, to get out because that dude just told him to get out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, okay. By the way, yeah, that guy. If you if you don't uh, if you don't get out when he tells you to get out, he says get out, and then you gotta get out, or or he shoots you with like something that auto kills you. I don't know. It's weird. Speaking of another randomized feature that's not that we do have that's not being used in here, you can get the get out guy in the battle crown games in DK6 oh. for a randomizer. Oh, that's always a good time. How do you get rid of him? You don't. 
You have you to just, survive with Get Out Guy. You just lose? <laughs> no, he, he, the shots take one slice of melon per damage. Oh, so it's just, you just gotta survive. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. I actually, actually kind of like that. That's really cool. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to actually come over here and get back into this rocket. Rocket barrel is just so nice for crystal caves because it just allows you to move around very quickly. Allows you to... I'm actually going to pop in this bonus barrel as well, I think. Because I'm only at 51 GBs. So let's pop in this bonus barrel. Let's see what this one is. It will not be Big Bug Bash because then I'll cry. All right. This Come, is be robber, not. Be this is not better. This is not better. This. This is not better. This is not better. This is not better. Oh no. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try. To bonus so if you can't tell, those enemies are not supposed to be in here. And okay. All right. I think. I think we'll be okay now. Now that they're on cycle. Oh God. Go away. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna game here for a second. We're just gonna game. This is definitely one of the hardest games in DK64 randomized by the way, with the random enemies and the random speed of the enemies makes this game very difficult. Yeah, you just you gotta survive that initial wave, and then you just kinda have to memorize the pattern that they spawn in. He's gonna spawn there, then he's gonna spawn there. Oh, this is fine. Everything's great. That that toy up there, he's not gonna kill me. He's not going to kill me. Okay. 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 I totally wasn't scared. That was fine. That was all that was all acting. That was all just all just acting. It's all good. All right, we're going to shoot this guy. Here's another fun thing that I did not know. So, if you noticed I kind of hovered in the air there. Uh when you're in rocket barrel, if you just hold Z, you just hover. You don't have to like bob up and down like that. You can't move forwards or backwards, but you will not lose any altitude, uh, which is really, really nice, uh, especially in the Diddy phase of K rule, which unfortunately we do not get to do. Diddy phase is probably my favorite phase, but it's also the scariest phase. Um, but yeah, you can, it makes it a lot easier to do things like that. What I just did there. And it also makes the K rule phase a lot easier. So uh, this is wow. Another family shop. Okay. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to grab this Kasplat here. And then I think we'll do two of the little igloo rooms. I mean, I can only do two of the igloo rooms. All right, let's grab this one for Donkey. And then I believe Diddy's room is over here. Here's another cool strat that I get to show off. So the solution to the puzzle in this room is you have to throw the barrels in a sequential order. However, in the randomizer, the barrels are in random places. So you could either just throw the barrels and do process of elimination, or you could just gently put them back down. Just put them right back down. Just do a little gentle, little gentle thing here. You gotta pick this one up and just put that one down. I'm gonna pick one up last. Is this one? Okay, now we can throw. Now we can just be destructive. We could be an anarchist. We can just throw the barrels around with reckless abandon. Now that I know the order, screw these barrels, they're jerks. We're going to throw this one, and then we're going to throw this one. We're throwing in a temper tantrum, and then we're just going to calmly walk out of here with a golden banana. Uh, it's not just this that's randomized, by the way. Basically, any puzzle in this game is also going to be randomized yes. in DK64 Randomizer. Which, by the way, you can go to DK64Randomizer.com today and try this randomizer right now. for yourself. Right now. You not just right today, now. right now. Yeah, go. you could go, literally, you could... Don't stop watching the stream, please. Just open it up on another tab. And you can check out DK64Randomizer.com and they will get you hooked up with everything you need. You can get the Discord link. You can figure out how to set it up. Join the Discord, by the way. It's, it's great. It's a good community. It's a lot of fun. This guy is the worst enemy to see in here. So we're going to dispatch of him. And uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do this banana as well. So a fun thing about this gong here, um, this this banana actually gets harder the the higher level of simian slam you have because you okay you need you need to okay I'm gonna, I need to kill him you need to go away 
I'm gonna fail this. Oh, I'm gonna fail it, because he spawned again. I didn't fail it. Okay, we're gamers. I gamed. I gamed out of my mind. We did not fail. Okay, we're good. We're good. Tiny good. super duper simian slam takes so long to get yes. out, to get actually slam the ground. Right. It is not, not the fastest animation in the world. So we are once again, how many dumps is this now? I feel like I've, <laughs> I feel like this is a lot of dumps. Like this is an ab abnormal amount of dumps for me for a seed. <laughs> Wait, what is an abnormal amount? Which, what, what number are we on? I want to say this is like four, four or five, I think. That's not that bad, no. no. Four, four or five dumps is, you know, a little more than I like to do. I think I have a Diddyka Splat that I didn't mark down, right? Oh, I don't. Okay. I thought I had a Diddyka Splat. Now, Lanky, Lanky's got six of these things. So we are going to see that count go way up. So. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, boom, boom. All right, 51, uh, which means we're going to have 56 once we dump these ones. 56, and then, uh, man, how many am I going to get in? I think I might have to go back to a level or two just to get a couple that aren't super, super slow. Uh, but Galleon's got a lot of pretty fast GBs, so... 54. I'm actually just going to update the tracker as Chunky is dropping his off. And I think all of the rest of the moves in the game, unless Forest Funky has a couple of them, are all going to be in Galleon, which eh, it's kind of a little gross. You don't really like to see that, actually. I think we had 56 at the end of all that. We're going to update that. So I only need 14 more on top of, obviously, our, our normal moves that we are missing. Uh, as far as go mode, we still need Donkey's Bongos. We still need the trombone, which I was hinted earlier is here. We also need uh, the rest of Chunky's moves. And technically, you'd like to see Ponytail Twirl just because it will make the K rule fight a little easier. But you don't need Ponytail Twirl to beat this seed. So... Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is go into this little side room over here and do this room. And oh, I can't do it. I don't have pineapple launcher yet. OK, well, we're going to get pineapple launcher in this level. So that'll maybe be a banana that we get on the way back out of here. So I'm not used to being this late in the seat and not having pineapple launcher. It's very, very weird. All right. So let's dispose of these enemies just so they don't bother us. And we're going to punch this treasure chest and a banana's going to come out. I don't know why it's there. I don't know who put that banana there. But, oh, please touch it. Okay. All right, there we go. 57. Let's go up top here and grab the Kasplat up here. This is probably going to be the last couple Kasplats we grab. So we are going to do one more dump after all this is over. So this one's Diddy. I... Um... I don't know what I'm hitting, but okay, we're just gonna jump up here. Nice hit. I box. guess I was a little too low on that platform. Speaking of weird oddities in this game, so it's just that, we have a question from chat. Um, yes. If you could improve anything about the current randomizer, what would it be? And yes, the developer is sitting right here with you, so feel free to say it, whatever you want. If I could improve anything about the randomizer? Yeah. Um. Hmm. I don't know if this would necessarily be considered an improvement, but I think what would be really what would be a really cool improvement to see is if you get caught by one of the cops in the game, like, you know, the enemies have been kind of avoiding and, and things like that. We were talking about them earlier. I think it'd be really cool if you got caught by one of them, if it deleted system 32. <laughs> I was going to say just to say just that it throws you the game over screen, but that... I was I saying, that's, a, like, that's an answer. Like that yeah, I think that'd be cool. Of when like what, I mean, um, wouldn't what, anyone think that'd be a cool change, right? Wouldn't that be a well, cool change? We were talking about the uh, banjo kazooie randomizer, right? We were talking about this last time, and um, I remember when Grunty threatened to delete save data if you use too many um, of the in-game cheats for it. So, oh <laughs> yeah, about System Thirty Two. Yeah, that is a thing that they did, right? 
Yeah, I, I forgot if it actually did that or not, but like I remember. Well, it's a thing of an, in the that. game. It was a joke. There is a Banjo Kazooie randomizer, by the way. Shout outs to Giant Jigglypuff 3, coded most of it by himself. That's awesome. That's actually really, really impressive. Um, no, but to truthfully answer the question, and again, this is stuff that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it a little under wraps right now. A lot of it's still in development. A lot of the things that I would want changed in this randomizer um, are being changed. Like, they're in the process of being changed. So, I honestly, like... I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of the stuff that I would even mention is already being changed. So I'm not just saying that because, you know, I have a dev here. I'm, I'm literally saying that because I truly believe that. They're like a lot of the things that uh, I would improve about this random or already being improved on. And another thing about this randomizer, and this is like a big, you know, shout out to Tudos and Balam and all the other devs out there, Kill Klee and uh, Larock and all those people. The amount of... <laughs> First of all, this is still DK64. This game is basically held together with duct tape and paper clips. The fact that they were even able to randomize this game in general is really, really cool and really, really impressive. But the fact that there has been so many updates and so many changes and so many things done uh, that just you can alter your experience with this randomizer as much as you do it uh, is really, really cool. And again, one of the big reasons why I've been playing it constantly, one of the big reasons why I'm so addicted to it and why I have so much fun with it. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, it's just all around a good time. So also, this is guaranteed to be bongos. So man, Describe lots that. of moves locked in level seven this seed. That's pretty brutal considering you need to get like what? What was it? 50 gold bananas to get over here? Or you 40? Needed, I can't remember how you much. Needed, you needed 54 GBs to get in here. To get all these really good moves that helps you get golden bananas earlier, but you don't get them until after 54 golden bananas. Right. And this also means I have to go back to forest. <laughs> I have to go back to forest. So one of the last moves you need in this game uh, is Simeon Spring. Actually, I'm just going to exit and re-enter. One of the last things you need in, in this, uh, not Simeon Spring, is Gorilla Gone, because Gorilla Gone is the thing that you actually use in the K. Rule fight itself as Chunky. Um, I checked every single shop in this level, and it wasn't there, which means that Gorilla Gone is in, without a doubt, the worst shop in this game, which is back in Forest. It's Funky. That shop requires you to have both Chunky's gun and Tiny's gun to get in there. And uh, it's not fun. It's not great. It is a very, it is often the shop that is left behind or straight up forgotten sometimes. Also, now that I finally have coconut gun, or not coconut gun, pineapple launcher, the crushes die very fast. Not the crush, whatever the heck they're called. The Kasplats. I don't know what their real name is. But they die very fast to the, to the pineapple launcher. Also, totally skill-based. I'm not going to miss a single shot. Watch this. Watch how much of a gamer we are. I'm going to turn before I even see it hit the target. Also, this one, I'm afraid. I could have probably shot there, but I didn't want to. Embarrass myself. And look at that. Easy, right? Ignore the fact that I totally missed that third one and the game still gave it to me. Totally ignore that part. Totally ignore the fact that the game just decided to allow that hitbox to exist. All right, so now that I finally have some of the rest of these moves, let's go over and I'm going to show off a banana that <laughs> under no circumstances would you ever do this banana before it was changed. Uh, I'm going to do the mech fish. And to anyone that played this game growing up as a kid, uh, you remember that you had in order to do the mech fish, you had to come over here. You had to fly to the top of the lighthouse and play Diddy's instrument. That triggered a timer. You then had to swim over to the main area of this level and enter the mech fish. You then, after doing that, were put on another timer and you had to shoot the three switches that are, I guess, the mech fish's heart. You had to shoot each switch, I think it was three times. 
and there's a propeller that spins that blocks you from shooting the switches that you need to shoot. Um, it's not great. And uh, before it was changed, which I will show that off when we get to it, before it was changed, you would never, <laughs> under no circumstances, would you ever do that GB. But a couple changes have been made to it. So I'm going to show that off. Show off more of just the hard work that was put in by Tudos and Balam, Kilkley, all the great devs. And let's just fly over I sit here. around in the meetings and pick my nose. <laughs> right, yeah, I mean, you know, Tudos was there, right? You're you're present at the meetings, right? All right, yeah, let's jump my up nose. to you. And to, to, to pick my nose, right? To play Splatoon 3. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I got shot. Okay. All right, so let's um, let's punch these totally not holding any sort of illicit substance barrels and make Chunky seasick and grab this GB. And yeah, look, he's totally seasick. That is absolutely what is happening here. And the reason why I'm doing this like little spin punch is because this is actually the fastest way to move in this state. Uh, if you try to, for some reason, if you try to like long jump, it's weird and you backflip instead. I don't really understand it. But uh, let's come over I here. I probably should have chose you the way on how to skip the seasick effect and get that gold banana faster. Too late now, though. Yeah, it's too late now. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Anyway, it's too late for this banana, by the way. Which we will give a final update once K. Rule has been dispatched of. All right, this is the banana that I like to call Womp's Fortress uh, for no reason at all. Totally, uh, totally not any reason why I like to call this banana Womp's Fortress. I tried to do a Diddy backflip there and really mistimed it. So we're just going to wait for this platform cycle. Over here, over here, over here. Make that cycle. Come up here, and then we're just going to backflip and skip that cycle. Another thing, you'll notice that switch has also been pulled uh, again, basically making Gorilla Gone worthless. So, anyway, let's come over here. We're gonna fly up, and, and then for we're the, gonna do the. Go ahead. For the record, we don't need to make Gorilla Gone worthless. Like that's an option in the randomizer. Yeah, it is. That so. is an option. You can turn that setting off to actually make Gorilla Gone not worthless. So, all right. So this is gonna spawn the mech fish. And this is probably going to be the last GB I get in Galleon. I'm actually going to... I have to go back to Forest anyway, uh, which will allow me to get another banana as Chunky. And Diddy's totally fine. Don't worry about it. He's fine. All right. Let's jump down here. Swim into the fish's mouth. I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Nope, not going to make it in time. So we got to wait. Wait for him to open up again. And hopefully not make it there in time. It's fine. We're just going to hang out here by the tooth. So normally in this little section here, this has a timer normally. Uh, it has since been removed. There's also enemies flying around, which I'm just going to get rid of them using the, the guitar. And you have to shoot these switches. Oh, can't shoot that one yet. Let's shoot that one. I'm going to shoot this bottom one because that's going to open up the bottom one. Shoot this. And now all I got to do is shoot this one. And it will give us a golden banana. Can we get a banana peel go. check, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. There you go. <laughs> this is the, the state of the banana currently. Oh, my gosh. All right, 64. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Wrinkly Kong. Shout out to Wrinkly. Salute. Uh, I need so to go for back those to who for those who don't know what that game looks like normally, those switches usually take three hits per switch to destroy. Yeah. And you need to wait every cycle because you can only hit one at a time. Right. It is not great. So this is actually going to be banana sixty-five. 
And uh, again, we capped out the B locker, the final B locker to get into helmet 70. So um, that is, you can basically set whatever the highest amount of gold as you need in the randomizer. But you can also tell that these switches have great hitboxes. Great. The best. The best switches in the game. There are no issues. This you Please, okay. Now comes the, we get to squash uh, some tomatoes. And they are tomatoes, right? They're supposed to be tomatoes, right? No, they're Which, not uh, just tomatoes. They're evil tomatoes. Yeah, they are evil tomatoes, correct. Um, another thing that, uh, you know, I know that this game is obviously the, the main thing about this game is how realistic it is. The one part where they slipped up was that obviously tomatoes don't grow underground, but we'll give Rareware and Nintendo, you know, a pass. Everything else in this game is completely anatomically correct, biologically correct. This is how things work um, in the real world. So, no dispute there. 10 is enough, I think. Yeah, I think 10 should be enough. So another fun fact, I didn't know that you could just jump on these tomatoes. I thought you had to squish them with a ground pound. I'm sorry, a simian slam, not a ground pound. It is not called a hello. It is not called a ground pound. The simian slam. This guy is very pleased with us, and we're going to carry his home. Shout out to James and the Giant Peach, by the way. One of my favorite uh, Disney movies that... I feel like doesn't get a lot of credit. It's a really good movie. Yeah, I wonder how much it costs for her to get the reference for the IP in this game. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> how much did it cost for them to get the... Uh... There we go. 65. And then I'm actually just going to get the other, the rest of these GBs over here in DK Isles. So we're going to get the final five here. We're going to get four along the bottom here and then one at the very tippity top. Again, we're going to do this little cool jump here, line ourselves up with the ground, clip through the geometry. Oh, uh, please. This will be 66. The Japes one's going to be 67. Um, the Caves one's going to be 68. The Chunky Switch will be 69. And then the, um, the tiny banana way at the top is going to be 70. Or you could risk it for the biscuit and make the bonus barrel and helm be the 70th. I could do that. Do you, do you know, do you know the stream value? You could get Beaver Bobber. You could get the could easiest mini game ever. The stream value involved in seeing what the last mini game is. Well, it's not the last mini game. I got to complete more mini games. But yeah, but but the, but we banned Beaver Bobber and Helm and Randomizer, by the way, Chad. But. The, the game before Helm in the lobby can be Beaver Bother. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm doing the calculation in my head of how much stream value that would be. I feel like it'd be if a lot. If it's so Beaver Bother, the stream value would just shoot up immensely. And then everyone yeah. would would be like, oh, he needs to do it now. And you'll expertly do it on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I get it. You're right. There's no, first of all, there's no way it's going to be Beaver Bother. There's also no way it's going to be Big Bug Bash, which is definitively my worst minigame that I perform at and I struggle at a lot. There's no way it will be that. All right. Yeah. Go ahead up right now. Yeah, Just get I'm the going. tiny one and. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, awesome. We're awesome. We're coming up here. We're going to go ahead and grab the. We're going to grab this monkey port banana. So this is why monkey ports required. You have to use monkey port to get up here. Normally, this is your final GB that you collect every single run. So, that, so that's going to be that one. That spawns a hunky chunky barrel. I've done that banana like exactly one time in my life. It's not great. It takes a long time to do. All right, so let's come over here. And there's going to be a bonus barrel in here. And... Show the B-Locker. The B-Locker will say 70. Because, uh, again, we have it set to that. So. Or I forgot to change it. Um. Anyway. Forgot to put it to 70. Anyway. We're just going to do this one instead. Welcome to bonus day. This is... Are you kidding me? <laughs> have fun. This is the hardest mini game with the maze. It's the Stat Snatch... 
combo with um with the with the guards in it. So have fun collecting coins and avoiding these ding dongs. Okay, yeah. So this is a combination of Stash Snatch and Stealthy Snoop, which is not in the vanilla game. It was left in the code. And it's not great. It's really slow and scary. And I have to avoid being caught by these guys. And I knew this was here, and I knew you were going to have to do this if you were. <laughs> you s I've been swindled. Okay. Let's just. Although, let's Granny, just... you might get you might get bailed out because there's the uh, you you said it at 69 by accident. I'm not sure how that yeah. happened. That's such a weird number. But anyway, I we're not. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Um, it was actually 100 percent by accident. I totally just forgot to set it to 70. What does this guy do? I don't remember which way he turns. E I'm scared. I'm so scared. E okay. Just, just to avoid him. I forgot what that guy does. This guy is kind of a jerk. He's the last obstacle. I need to get by him. Just, I'm just gonna take my time. It's okay. Everyone's just calm down and okay. We got 70. <laughs> How did you know? Did you actually know that that was there? Yeah, I checked that before the stream because oh you told me what seed you were doing. <laughs> God. All right. Well. All right. Oh, so there's a Kasplat over there. You can actually go get that Kasplat whenever you want, whenever you get to, whenever you have access to Helm. Uh, you can actually go get that Kasplat and use it to turn in. So I will on say, one of the, the top randomizer runners, Riley, did that barrel because he was one short and it was Beaver Bother. I did want to throw that in there. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. That was, yeah, that was during one of the asyncs that we set up. And, uh... Riley was so committed for that being his final G. He was so committed for that being his final. Uh, this is going to be. Oh, God. Good. OK, OK. Um, He was so committed for that being his final GB. I think he spent like. I was not paying attention and the hitbox on the. The block is so big. Okay. Um, I might quit out of this and switch to Diddy. We'll see. We'll see if I if I fail it one more time, we'll swap to Diddy. No. Okay. So the reason why I prefer to use Diddy for this is because the cone of fire from Diddy's peanut guns is very wide. And it allows for you to dispatch of these enemies a lot. Oh, God, a lot easier. I will say as well, um, Diddy ha holds his guns a lot close to his body. And that's why yeah. for DK and Lanky, this game is a lot harder because the actual spot the bullets come out in relative to where his hitbox is, is yeah. way further out. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, hitboxes in this game, not great. All right, so let's come over here. So we have five more mini games to complete. Uh, again, these are all randomized. I don't know what they're going to be. This is a really good mini game to see. This is one of the vanilla uh, donkey helm mini games. So you can just fire at these targets. There's one more. Yeah, but then after this, we're going to be fighting K rule. So that might have been okay. We're I wasn't sure if that was early or not. One of the faster mini games you could get. So if you don't know your Helm Order, say, for example, you've been playing super aggressive. You don't know what the Helm Order is. You're going to come in here blindly. That is how you figure out what the Helm Order is. You have to guess what the first one is. But then once you guess what the first one is, the game will just show you what the others are. Actually, because it's lanky, I think this will probably be faster. Fly over here. And then I'll just drop back down into the Diddy barrel to do because it's donkey. Yeah, it's donkey lanky Diddy is what I have written down here. And then as far as the K rule fight goes, we're going to do lanky, tiny, chunky. I mentioned earlier, that's like the worst combo to get. It's not the hardest combo. It's just it takes the longest. So. A little bit of a. A little bit of a slow helm we're having. <laughs> 
Uh, this is the 60, so it's right, left, straight. This one's also very, very fast. So not the worst one to get. I think he turns... Yeah, he turns that way. Okay. I couldn't remember if he turned left or right, so you could just wait for him to round the corner. Another thing that we... The stealthy snoops are always the same, so if you memorize the patterns uh, and memorize what way the, the cops turn back and forth... You can get through there relatively quickly. That's how I knew how to how to do that stealthy snoop stash snatch combo. I took the time to just memorize where everything is because, like, you can get a situation like that where it's like, okay, I have to hitboxes in this game are good. Um, I have to do this this bonus barrel. It's in helm, or I have to do it to get to a, a GB count. Um, well, oh, can you please just? You get stuck on the walls in here, and it makes turning impossible. All right, let's get in here. Another thing you'll notice is I did those two lanky bonus barrels as donkey. Um, the lanky minigames in this game can all be completed by any Kong. This is another kind of reason why the joke is like, you can just take lanky out of the game. Um, although I won't do that because I like lanky. Jump back down here. Another reason why Diddy's Rocket Barrel is usually required is because you need Diddy's Rocket Barrel to get up into his room in Helm. So even if you don't have a Diddy phase in K. Rule, if you have a Helm room Diddy, you need you need Rocket Barrel. Otherwise, you don't need Rocket Barrel. Um, definitely one of those moves that like you're never gonna not buy it if you see it. Um, but again. If you want to be super aggressive, if you're racing one of your friends and you don't want to buy every move to save the, I guess, time, I guess, you don't have to do it. Also, this is one of the harder Kremlin cautions. Uh, the red Kremlins are very, very fast. So I usually don't even bother shooting them. I just go for the green ones. As you can see, the... the oh, I actually... I shot a red one, but I wasn't expecting to. Okay, well, that sped that up pretty quick. The other versions of that minigame, uh, the enemies pop out a lot slower. So you can actually shoot the red ones. I think the red ones are worth like three, I think. Not exactly sure. Well, to and another like 10, stealthy 20. snoop. <laughs> oh, and this is the 92nd one. <laughs> My god, okay. This helm was... It was a helm. This was a hideout helm that I did. Uh, let's just avoid him. I think this guy turns to the right immediately. Yes, he does. We're going to go straight past this guy. We're going to round to this corner quickly with Donkey. Now, the problem with ew, the problem with this one is that last guy I just passed. If you don't make that cycle, he pushes you all the way back down that hallway. So that's why making that cycle is really important for the 90 second um, stealthy snoop there. But yeah, after that, that is it. Helm is completed. Uh, we're going to go all the way up to the top. I get to show off one more cool thing that I don't know if I actually showed it off uh, in the race with Spike. This was a, a change that I don't exactly know who suggested. It was actually a community suggestion thing. Um, I think this was my suggestion, actually. Was it? Okay, well, it's... It was a really good suggestion. I'm glad you thought of it. So, uh, let's say you haven't been reading hints, or let's just say the, you know, the K rule order was really well hidden and you didn't find it, or maybe it was a jet seed and you just ran through the levels to get all your golden bananas and get up to helm. This tells you what the K rule phases are. We got lanky, tiny, chunky. There you go. So you take a peek at that wall. And uh, you're good to go. Here's our final, eighth and final key. We pick it up. We are at a warp to Banana Port 3. And we're going to head into the K. Rule fight. This should probably take approximately, I'm going to say maybe about five minutes or so. Maybe, maybe more than five. Maybe about like five and a half to six minutes. Uh, the tiny phase takes about two and a half minutes. This lanky phase could take up to a minute and a half to two minutes if I don't get uh, lucky with where he runs. And then the chunky phase is really, really fast. The chunky phase um, is only about a minute and 20 seconds. 
Just as a heads up quick, for those who are confused on how he was just able to go into the final boss right away, um, the moment you grab the key, that gets turned on automatically, so you don't need to visit K Lumsy and DK64 yes. Randomizer. So he was able to just run in the moment after he collected a key 8. Yeah. Another thing that you can turn off if you would like to, um, it's a setting which is just auto turn in keys. Um, if you like hanging out with K Lumsy, you can. You can go over and turn those keys in. Uh, but I like just for speed, makes it a lot faster to just auto turn them in. It's basically become one of those settings with races that like it's almost always turned on. Um, it's just a, you know, a faster setting. I thought I didn't hit that. I'm like, what the heck? All right. Oh, I am. I, I was not on the music pad initially. and I was like, oh, he's going to get away. It was actually a relatively clean, lanky phase. Obviously, that phase can go completely sideways. Also, don't worry about why K. Rule's got a light on his head. We we skipped we, we skipped that chapter in the story. We we went right past that part in the book, you know. So my dude's just hopping on the switches, man. All right, so this is the closest thing to an auto scroller in this entire game. So if anybody in chat's got any questions for myself, for Tudos, um, now would be a really good time for because for the next two and a half minutes, I'm just kind of going to be doing this phase. So I don't know if anybody else had any other questions, if Sky had any questions. Yeah, what are you Can you sing next? the DK rap? Oh, that's good. That's good. Can I sing the DK rap? Or I guess rap the DK rap. Um... I don't know all the words. He's finally here, performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Put your toes together if you want to clap, and we can take you through this monkey rap. That's it. That's all I know. I C G coconut gun. That's it. Yeah. C G coconut gun. Yeah. Yeah, you could have said what Unigine just said. You should have said yes. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> that was that would have been a lot funnier. That would have been a whole lot funnier than what I did. All right, we're just jumping over some shockwaves. We're jumping over the shockwaves. I'm actually going to do a strat here where I'm going to backflip and land immediately in the barrel. Saves probably like less than a second, but I think it looks cool. All right, we got two more toes to tickle. And then we're going to be going into the chunky phase, which is the final phase of the fight. Um, it happens very, very quick. Um, so time will be coming up in probably about two minutes. Um, I will call it out. Time is going to be when I not when I land the final punch is chunky, but when the, uh, the little bars appear at the top and the bottom of the screen, the letter box appears because technically that is when you lose control. So that will be when time is. All right, we're going to shoot this toe two more times. Again, this pattern is the same every time, so if you just memorize it, um, makes this phase a lot easier. When I first like started doing this randomizer, this phase was impossible. I would constantly die. I would constantly take a whole bunch of damage, like I just did. Um, and I would like basically route in having to get the third additional melon in, if I saw that I had to do a tiny phase. Then, you, you know, you, you do a bunch of these seeds, you take the time to learn the pattern, and uh, you just get better at it. And, you know, it's one of the more proud things that I can say is that now is not a problem, um, as opposed to when I first started doing this. Yeah, and soon you're going to be taking the time to learn how to do beaver bother, right? I know how to do beaver bother. I just don't like doing beaver bother. That's all. I have completed not normal beaver bother, but I have completed Beaver Bother in this randomizer before. It has happened. I don't have, I don't know how much vi video proof I have, but I've done it. Um, I will say we did make Beaver Bother easier in randomizer by putting the gold beavers in there that count for two yes. instead of one if you get one in. Yes, that is a very cool feature that was put in. All right, we got to throw two, got to throw three Mike Tyson haymakers. That's one. Just uh, don't backflip. We don't want that happening. Oh, no. Don't backflip and choke the world record. You, well, that would be, oh, that would be tragic, you know? Certainly don't want to backflip and accidentally throw, you know? Oh, man. 
That would be a shame. Also, you're seeing why all of the chunky moves were required? Yeah, this is why. <laughs> That's number two. All right, time is going to be coming up here very quickly. Um, I will call it out. It's when the letter boxes appear after I throw the third punch. And, oh, he read my inputs. He knew I was going to go that way. Okay. Oh, that is not the switch. Okay. We're going to vanish one more time. We are going to backflip. Oh, no, I accidentally backflipped. Oh, no. Am I going to have time to throw this final punch? I have no idea. And time. Looks, yeah. Yeah. Looks like it's around 214.40. I'm reading this. 14? Oh no, I went overestimate. <laughs> that's a. That's fine. The same mercy kill. <laughs> oh no. The uh, the well no no he saved the estimate on stream says 215. Oh. Uh, just yeah, barely underestimate. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Let me let me throw out a. Let me uh, hit my N64 <clears throat> hit, and reset. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that is, uh, again, Donkey Kong 64 level order randomizer. Um, another cool little thing you could do here is, uh, another fun thing that a lot of people like to do is you compare your in-game times to one another and, uh, you know, see, see what time you got there. We can also check to see what levels I got the most, uh, bananas in. Actually go through DK Isles, I got 14. All of this is in the game. Jungle Japes, we got 14. Aztec, 7. Factory, 12. Galleon, 8. Forest, 4. Crystal Caves, 8. And Creepy Castle was 3. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Um, that's Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer Level Order Rando. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please go check out Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer.com. And give this randomizer a test. Join the Discord uh, if you have any questions on how to set it up. What's some good strats to do? You know, if you're brand new to the game, if you've never played the game before, like myself, before I got into it, it's super fun, it's super approachable, and it's really, really addicting and a lot of fun. And we have a lot of great people in the community. The dev team, of course, Tudos being a member of it, Balam, Kilkley, Larock, bunch of other people unfortunately i didn't roll the credits because they're all in the credits i'm sorry if any of them are out there i apologize but all of you are great and uh yeah you're tudos you're great thanks for hanging out and doing comms with me it was fun time um again hope to check uh hope some people check out this uh randomizer it's a good time yeah, do y'all have is, any other uh, shout outs that you may be forgetting? Oh goodness, yes, the banana, this, of course. This is this is the the remainder <laughs> of this of this banana. Now, it would be a real shame if it went to waste. Oh no, so, Kuiper. I, absolutely not. No, that's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> happening no 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 that went in the garbage i just wanted to wait until the seed was over so um oh massive shout I out to i was gonna say one more to a couple more shout outs um yeah, yeah. from me was uh to sky for inviting me back to rng um the first run that i did of this was like a dream come true i've always wanted to be on gdq and getting brought back to do this randomizer that i love so much was was great so shout out to sky shout out to gdq um Shout out to all of the people we've been talking about all stream long that run this game. A lot of our good friends that have tried it out. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for me. And then for me, I, I'll shout out the whole dev team. Um, <laughs> yes. So yeah. myself, Balam, Killy, Xenernicus, um, Elrock, Sea Fox, Shadow Shine, um, Almost Seagull, Bismuth, and Only Spaghetti Code all contributed. So thanks again. You guys are awesome. All right, and thank you to both uh, Kuiper and Tudos for being here again. Please give both of these wonderful streamers a follow here. Let me get the links here because I was copying and pasting something else here. Nice to all these GGs as well. That is twitch.tv slash Kuiper don't with no apostrophe here. And also- Don't you dare have... put an apostrophe in my name. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. And uh, twitch.tv slash Tudos too, like the number two, BOS. All right, awesome. And some few last minute announcements here for GDQ. And again, our programming is not done for this evening. So game and volunteer submissions for Frost Fatale 2023 are open now until November 26th. You can find information at gamestarquick.com slash for or the GDQ Twitter to submit your games and volunteer applications. 
And this weekend, we have King of the Silent Hill, which will be a series of races featuring the Silent Hill series. Starting at 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, we will also have the Captain Toad Anniversary Special starting at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. Stay tuned for AIMBOT coming up after the break. Take it away, Amy. Woo!